Welcome, welcome, everybody. I can promise you one thing, and that's the, that is there's going to be some technical difficulties. I promise. But we are here. All right, I'm a permanent smile. That's just the way it is. It'll probably be switched up in a second. Um, but I am super happy to be here with Peter France, Ian Hubert, and Ren Weichman. Guys, we are freaking doing it. So, first off, yeah. do we sound okay? Can you guys give me some levels? How are we sounding? How are we looking? Hello, hello. Hey. How you doing, Ren? I'm doing great. I'm excited for this. <laughs> Let's, I mean, so much creativity, so much inspiration here in this little little area right now and i i could not be more excited agreed man yeah um so if i could get my video fixed you know that would be sick but right now i hope i'm sounding good um <laughs> we'll figure this out in a minute and this, this is this is how i know you as clint just permanently <laughs> constant <happy. laughs> good vibes all around um but yeah guys so while basically we got a lot of announcements, we got a lot of freaking announcements, but it would freaking help if my camera was working. Let's see, let's see if I can't freaking. <laughs> it was working it was all the whole time. Too. All the technical oh difficulties God. we've had up to this point has been a hoot. It's been a good time. But hey, I appreciate you guys doing this with me. Um, this is going to be a, an incredible stream. Oh, and Peter, Peter, Dude. by the way, is like on some next level because he's like taking over that chat you know his video is constantly <laughs> popping in and out <laughs> okay, i can see it now i'm watching the stream now. Oh, yeah. no. it's, it's hilarious <laughs> My video i see what you're talking about now <laughs> <laughs> i ruled this live stream all right well maybe my video will fix itself eventually at some point but guys couple announcements here's what we're going to do so first off myself and the Discord moderators went through 2,401 submissions. You guys submitted, it was freaking insane. The renders were nuts. If you total up the, the collective hours, it's 18 years worth of renders. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. That's a lot of time. That's insane. Yeah, it's absolutely absurd. Um, that's, that's about, that's a little, little more than half a billion seconds. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a lot. It is certainly a lot. Which is a lot. Jeez. So, you know, myself, the Discord mods, we went through everything. We picked the top 100 um, and tried to keep it as unbiased as possible. And then I got together with these guys um, a couple days ago. We went through the top 100 and we whittled it down and we found our top five. We're not telling you yet until the end of this thing. But um, that's what we're going to do during the stream. We're going to get this down to the top five. I basically issued everybody a little animation. You guys built it out in your style. You put, you know, put your spice on it, built out your world. And five of you guys are going to be going home with some amazing stuff. So fifth place. Um, let's go through these prizes really quick. Whoa, hold up. That was an earthquake. I just felt an earthquake. Really? What? Whoa, Okay. Sorry, yeah, the, oh my, I was shaking. I'm outside on the ground and I'm like shaking. Whoa. Are you in San Diego? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, just north of San Diego. Yeah, I'm next to a big lake outside of San Diego. Shoot. Anyway, yeah, that was wild. Um, <laughs> sorry, continue. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, I'm gonna go through these prizes. I gotta give a shout out to Rococo, to Wacom, to PNY, to Aftershocks, and to Quixel for hooking up all of the prizes for this thing. Uh, fifth place, let's see, man, this is off the top of the dome here. Fifth place is getting um, an awesome PNY SSD as well as a one year subscription to the Quixel Megascans library. It's gonna be the same for fourth and fifth place, all right? But as soon as you go up to third place, if, you're, if your render is the third best render in this whole thing, you're gonna get both of those things. You're gonna get the Quixel Megascans subscription, you're gonna get the PNY, an even better PNY SSD. And you're also going to get a Wacom tablet. Um, a size of your cool. choice, you know, small, medium, large, whatever you want. Um, shout outs to Wacom, those guys are amazing. And then also, uh, second place, you get all of that, plus a pair of Aftershocks, um, like open ear headphones, They're the things that we use all the time. I use these things all the time, they're the best. And first place gets all of that, the open ear headphones from Aftershocks, the Wacom tablet, size of your choice, PNY, uh, SSD, 
the Quixel Mega Scans year long subscription and the Rococo full mocap suit with the gloves and the studio, all that stuff. So it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be freaking crazy. Peter's all tiny again. At least, at least you're not taking over the visual. <laughs> like, there you go. You're fixed now. Sweet. <laughs> um, so, any other announcements? I just want to thank everybody for doing this. Um, for everyone who submitted to you guys for helping me uh, judge this thing. Um, what else? Uh, I just want to say that what I've seen so far, I've seen the top 100. And every single one of them is amazing. Like, legitimately Dude. incredible. It's bonkers. I, I was blown away. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm excited to look at all of them with everyone it's else. It's freaking nuts. Um, any... And just the scale of this thing, too. Like, I... Over the past month, I've seen the entire 3D community explode <laughs> yeah. with this thing. I feel like it's really brought yeah, it no together in a cool way. Like, you should be really proud of yourself, Clint, for being able to inspire so many people to come together like this. This is really cool. This is really special. Dude, I'm so inspired that, like, I, I feel like I just can't move. You know, like, I'm just, I'm, I'm frozen out of shock. And, like, <laughs> it's blowing my mind. And, guys, my goodness, um, next weekend here, we're going to be, we're going to have a top 100. Like, all, all the ones that we're going to review today, there's going to be a montage of the top 100. My buddy Adam, he goes by Feverkin. He did like two custom tracks for it. And then on the same day, I'll also release the full 2401 cut. And that's going to be everything. It's going to be three and a half hours long. It's going to be nuts. Three and a half hours. Wild. Yeah. Of just like solid vibes and good shots. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay. So I think that's everything. Uh, let's see. Let me go through my notes here. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, really glad that uh, I got this Holly Hollyland like mic right now. Uh, they sent one over, and I'm glad you guys can hear me. You can't see me, but shout outs. You sound you sound great. Clint. That's good. That's yeah, good. It doesn't even matter. We can't see. Yeah. You sound friggin' good. Heck yeah. I don't, don't need to see you. Hearing is enough. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go through these top hundred. We're going to whittle that down to top 75. All right. From there, we're going to go top 50 from that 75. From that top 50, we're going to go top 25. From the top 25, we're going to go top 15. And from the top 15, we are going to choose the five best renders out of all 2,401 renders. Now, we, like I said, we've done this. So we, you know, We've gone through this process. We know who the winners are, but we don't know who's first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. So we're gonna have to figure that out live with y'all. It's gonna be crazy. Um, so before we begin, shout outs to Skillshare. You know. So I think I'm gonna have to hit this button right here. I'm gonna show you, talk to you guys a little about Skillshare for a second, yeah. and then we're gonna get Do it. into it. All right, I'll see you guys in two seconds. Talk soon. This week's stream is brought to you by our friends over at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives like you guys who are looking to up their game, grow their value, and learn a new skill. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced on your journey. You can learn anything here on Skillshare at any level and any schedule type too because these classes come in bite-sized little chunks, sometimes 5-10 minutes, and it'll allow you to fit it into your very busy schedule. All right, so first I got to shout out this incredible artist. This guy is Don Mupasi, known as Visual Don. He's an incredible artist. He's going to teach you guys how to make a looping city animation in C4D and After Effects. This guy is awesome. The work he puts out in C4D is incredible. And I know you guys are going to learn a ton with his tutorials on Skillshare. Next up, I know we got some Blender folks up in here, so I don't want to forget about you guys. Blender is a free program. It is a fantastic program if you guys are looking to dive in and learn how to do stuff for free. And there's a ton of great tutorials on Skillshare for Blender. And this one here is an intro to modeling. So if you guys are trying to learn more about how modeling works, what it is, this is a great way to start for anyone trying to do this for free. And finally, for anyone trying to bite off more than they can chew, there is a ridiculous 11-hour course on how to make a game here on Skillshare. It's a fantastic course. 
lots to learn here. And Unreal Engine is, again, it's free, guys. So check out this fun course on Skillshare. It's a good time. So as a Skillshare member, you guys get unlimited access to regularly updated premium content for less than $9.99 a month for a yearly subscription. And to the first thousand people who click the link in the description, I got you guys with a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. You guys are going to learn something new. You're going to grow. You're going to get past the competition. And it also helps me out too. It helps me do more of these live streams. So click the link in the description and start learning. All right. <laughs> okay. So we're back. Uh, I think that went like one and a half times over. <laughs> But hey, like I said, you know, lots of things going on in the stream today. I'm fixed. I can see myself uh, definitely. Oh my God, the chat is going crazy. <laughs> thanks for thanks for bearing with us, guys. Uh, Hans, thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. There's like 80 million plates I'm juggling trying to run this stream at the same time with all these things going on. So thank you guys for bearing with me. Thanks for hopping in and joining us today. We're going to go through all these awesome renders and check them out. So. Peter, you brought up a good point, dude. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I was just saying that, you know, we're going to be whittling these renders down to the top 75, top 50, top 25, top 15, 10, 5, whatever. And I just wanted to say that all of these renders are amazing. Like, I hope nobody's upset that we're <laughs> skipping past there is going to the top 75 or 50, because being in the top 100 already out of 2,000, is crazy. So I just want to congratulate everybody on being in the top 100. Absolutely. Let's see. Uh, 100. <laughs> Brett's doing some math. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. We're, we're already looking at the top 4%. Heck yeah. Like, if you're here, you're already like the cream of the crop here. And it's like, it don't eat. Don't take anything personally that we say because we're going to start getting a little like uh, nitpicky and it, it completely glosses over the fact that what we're looking at is incredible. That's just the baseline here is incredible. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And there's just kind of like what, what resonates the most with us, what speaks the most, you know? And so that's going to be where it kind of like goes from. yeah 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 this is the most like overwhelming just display of of cg talent i've ever seen just condensed into a few minutes it's a uh, first time watching it like my brain just shut off and yeah. I just couldn't even process it was just so so much cool stuff <laughs> yeah yeah halfway through you get desensitized to how awesome it is you're just like all of these are amazing i can't focus on any of them mm -hmm. so yeah it, don't don't worry guys if like you know we're glossing over some renders you know, we, we, we can't, we, we don't have 12 hours. We have a couple hours for sure. So yeah, you guys should be very proud if you're in the top 100. And just the fact if you even submitted, guys, like I said, next week, there's going to be the full 2401 montage, three and a half hour long. So that's, that's, that's a feat in itself. You guys finished, you guys hit the finish line and you made it happen. So congrats to everybody who entered this thing. Um, I think it's about time we hop into it. Are you guys ready to do this? Let's do it. Yeah. All right. I am. Here we go. All right. It works. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go through the top 100 renders. All right. And we're going to choose 75 renders. I'm in DaVinci right now. You guys don't see my timeline. But basically, I'm going to be leveling up uh, 75 renders from these top 100. And we're going to go through these. And we're going to just do this based off of feeling, based off of style, based off of visual composition, based off of render quality, um, you know, based off of story. And it's going to get a bit more nitpicky as we get towards the top 50, top 25. Um, but for this, 75 of you guys are going to be moving on from the top 100. So uh, let's freaking do it. How do you guys feel about this render right here? I love this one. I love oh, the I style. It. It's so unique. It's clean. It's yeah. Cute. So you want to move this one up? What do you guys think? Does it get the advance? Oh, yeah. All right, sweet. That one goes up. Dig it. The laser one. Oh, I love it. Yeah. The robot so face good. in the cage. Yeah, this one. Love the I love background. the sunset. I love the color. Heck, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one gets the level up. And that little, little camp. Yeah. 
Love this one too. Oh, I love, love the background balloons. Yeah, this yeah, one's the airships. sick. So sweet. Super sick. Yeah, this one gets the level up for sure. Ooh, this one's Ren's favorite. I'm a sucker for stars, <laughs> and I love that star, that little solar flare too. Like, come oh, it's on, so good. Scary. Yeah, this one gets the power. Of the this gets the level up for sure. And that oh. is cool, cool fireworks. Love these carrying her. Great fireworks. Yeah, I like the vibe on this one. What do you guys think? Up or oh, moving on? Up. Up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. This one is moody. I love yeah. it. Yeah, you think so? Top 75? I don't know. We We're going to have to start bring them all out. Yeah. It's a bit hard to see what's going on. It's a little dark. Yeah, it's a little yeah. dark. All right. Which I like the darkness, but it, you know, it also makes it unclear. Yeah, I feel like a little bit of like... That I, yeah, I, I, for me, I just don't get what's going on. This one, on the other hand. Oh. This one. That, this one's one of my favorites. I love the style of this one. That, that, that jet portal is across the top. Cool. Yeah, the jet with that sh that uh, that line behind it. The the what do you call the the <laughs> the line in the air? The cloud line. <laughs> oh shoot, we're getting we're getting some lag. It looks like on this. Oh no. Yeah. Huh. Hmm, I'm wonder if there's a better way to do this. Hmm. We gotta freeze you again, Clint. I know. <laughs> I know. One FPS, shoot. Oh no. I wonder hold on, stream settings. Let me change. Ah, I should have done normal latency here. But I don't think I can change that while I'm streaming. Uh oh. Mm. Huh. Someone said the renders are laggy, but we're fine. Really? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's a Da Vinci situation here. Huh. Well. Yeah, it's a little crunchy on my end. Hold on, let me pull up. Uh, let me pull this up and see. CPU is pretty maxed. Close Premiere. Oh, yeah. Let's close some programs here. There's a lot going on here, guys. Let's see. Oh, boy. Close the Desktop Center. Oh, uh, no! Don't. don't. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, rip. What's rip. using all this? Oh, boy. Yeah, what is maxing this out? Freaking OBS, dude, is crunching. Uh, I mean, but that makes sense. Yeah, yeah don't, don't reset OBS. <laughs> God, no. Okay. All right, let's see. Maybe that helps a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, this one goes up. We know that. That one goes up. All right. I love this one. I love the color contrast nice, yeah. between the orange and the blue. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, Plus a lot of details. Like a bunch of freaking pride rock in the background dropping bodies <laughs> off of it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This one goes up for sure. I like the subtle use of volumetrics. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, this one's bad. cool. It's, based, it's very much so inspired by the video game Limbo. Yeah. Uh, very unique uh, art style. Yeah. Use of silhouettes and grayscale. I, very cool. I dig this one. I dig this one a lot. Also, should we also point out the, like, reestablish the rules real quick? I mean, most people uh, watching right now probably, you know, submitted something, so they're already familiar, but you want to, like, restate what the rules were, Clint? Yeah, so basically, um, the idea is that you, were, you guys were given a character, and you can't touch the... The, the like the walk cycle essentially the only thing you can move are the hands so in this case the character or this this uh, Dario uh, touched the hands and move them up to this ball here and there's also a spherical element that was provided that you guys can see maintained through a lot of these renders so you can see this little spherical element here you can see the character walking and you can't 
you can't touch the camera in relation to the character. So the character has to stay in the same spot and the spherical element needs to be maintained. So yeah, let me, um, someone actually had a good idea. They said just turn off the, uh, turn off the webcams potentially. That way we can just actually look oh, yeah. at the renders. So let me see real quick. Um, what if you also reduce the uh, playback resolution in DaVinci? Can you do that? You know, like set to half res or whatever? I don't know. Because DaVinci's taken 30% of computer juice and so is so is OBS. And the other, I don't know, 40% is the rest of my computer, I suppose. So let me see. I just, I know that your guys' video is tied to your audio. So I'm trying to... F no, I can, I can turn off my webcam. Are you ready? Boom. Right. Hold on. Work. Let me. No, then it's just like <laughs> Peter's a Skype now. <laughs> Dang, it's like I feel like it's laggy, even with the video paused. I mean, what do you have running on Chrome? Chrome is a huge uh, RAM hog and CPU hog. Let me close as much as I can. <clears throat> is DaVinci running on your CPU or GPU? Um, I don't know how to even check that. Mm. Yeah, um, maybe I can close the chat, or not the chat, but at least... Nah, but I need to see the stream. I mean, you can pull the stream up on your phone. That's what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for your patience, guys. Sorry about the, the technical difficulties. I'll pull the stream up on my it phone. It wouldn't be a stream without some technical difficulties. Yeah, but it's like the stream stats, you know what I mean? I should be able to see the stream stats. Uh, and I don't quite... Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds here. So, also, uh, in DaVinci, go to playback, then go to timeline proxy mode and set to half resolution. Okay, playback... Uh, what is it? Timeline proxy mode, half resolution. Yes, oh. please. Amazing. Also, uh, DaVinci is default set to CPU, but you can set it to NVIDIA. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. So, so your, yeah, <laughs> how do I do that? If you yeah, go to your maybe. settings, go to memory and GPU and change your GPU configuration. To CUDA. Uh, memory and GPU, which settings here? Uh, which setting? System settings. Oh, these are project settings, yeah. Uh, preferences. Preferences, yeah. memory and GPU. Yep, the top there, memory and GPU. Yeah. System memory, let's see. GPU. I think it's using GPU. Yeah. GPU's on. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Okay, well, let's give this a shot um, and see how this goes. I'm still getting the error on YouTube's end, but like, let's keep moving. This one goes up, right? We like this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, Watch the dude transform. transform. Yeah. Ooh. wonder how they did that. Turns into a werewolf. Yeah, it's friggin' sick. I wonder if it's just like a body and then just like extruding some hairs. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a shape. Key Although I guess he doesn't have that, the legs that. and stuff, and then yeah. ah, okay. And then hairs going up too. Do you think this one goes up? Definitely. Yeah, yeah we're, we're we're still getting yeah. lag in this. Like every video is like a lagged version of it, basically. Oh. Somebody saying that overlays you no, use the hard is on your system. Say again, Peter. Somebody saying two things. One, that the more overlays you use, uh, the harder it is on your system. And the second one, I already forgot. Okay. Hmm. What if you just, you just made full it so screen that the, the... the video that we're watching is the only thing? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I can up. try that. Um, overlays. Yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Um, let me see if I can turn your guys' this video off without your audio going down. Can you guys give me levels? Yeah, okay. Check, check. So that's connected to the sound bone, and the sound bone is connected to the... 
All right, let me figure this out, y'all. We're going to get this going. Um, okay, okay. Was that my spider memo? No. So I'm trying to figure out how to add... Hmm. Can you not just make it so that the what we're seeing currently, your screen share, is just what is streamed? I could do that, but I need your guys' audio, and your audio is connected to your video. So I guess I just need one person's video is all I need. Let me see. <laughs> Let me turn off. Hey, one thing, Clint. Yeah. The chat is going nuts right now. Uh, time. Timeline settings, where is it? Oh, here we go. Screw it, 1280, son. No, it doesn't scale. Oh, great. Um, let's give that a shot and see if that works. Okay. Next time I won't do low latency when I'm adding a million things. <laughs> oh, that's looking better. We like this one, right? This one can go up? Yeah, I dig this one. Yeah. No audio? My goodness. Bear with me. Yeah, video's a little better. A little better. Okay. It's still laggy. Test, test, test. Can you guys give me some levels? Hey. Test, test. I got it. Check. Audio's check. One, two, three. Audio's fine. Yeah, audio's fine. Next five minutes. What do you say, Ian? I just give him levels. Okay, cool. Talking about coffee. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, this one. This is needs cool. to. Oh man, the chat's moving too quick. OBS need. Uh, OBS needs to stream from DaVinci, not your desktop. Okay. Okay. Let me try something. A display capture or a media source. Let's try media Probably source. Media source. Yeah, I'll try media source. No, no, no. That's like a video. Okay, so somebody's saying OBS, delete desktop capture, create window capture, select DaVinci. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Window capture. Bam. Oh, that's a Peter. And this is the best tech support ever. <laughs> it's so fast. <laughs> Get out of here, monitor. Window capture, okay. Did somebody just pay five bucks so that they could give tech support? I think so. That's amazing. <laughs> Shout outs. What, did, what did they say? It was only up for like half a second. <laughs> All right, y'all, you're seeing some live right. live stream tech in here. This is what goes into, into this live stream. It's a lot. So let's see. This might work a lot better. Okay, Anti-Original has a good suggestion if this doesn't work. Okay. I'm all ears, dude. They're saying create a new scene in OBS with only resolve in it and enable desktop audio recording in the audio tab. So that way audio would work without showing the webcam. Okay. Let's see. Like pin that. Definitely pin that. And uh Got it. <laughs> How are we feeling on this one? Top seventy five? I dig it. Oh, are we resuming? Yeah. yeah, I like this one. Cool. Mm -hmm. I like the little, uh, of the bones. I love this one. Love this one, yeah. Clint, it looks great. Yeah, this one goes up. Oh, excellent. The stream hey, is... Hey, it's working. Butter. It's working. Really? It's working. This one I love. This one's so good. We slow I love, grow I love robot. robot. This is one of, one of my favorites. So Love I it. actually originally thought that this robot had like a tail, like a huge slug tail, but I think he's actually just holding a slug. He's like yeah, harvesting. Out there. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
love the design. Like this one's super sick. Definitely goes up for me. I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know where the slug tail comes in. Yeah. Well, there's like the well, tail. It's not in the a tail. He's like he's holding it under his arm. You know, like off to the side, maybe. Gosh, lagging again. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, we got this. Someone said right click. Uh, generate optimized media. Clint, there is a nuclear option. What is the nuclear option? Ending the stream and do it, turning off the low latency mode. That is pretty darn nuclear. How would that even work? I don't know. You just post a link to the new stream and the old stream. I see. Well, it, it would still be the same stream link through YouTube, right? You're just restarting OBS. Would that kill the stream? No, it's not an OBS thing. It's a YouTube thing. So I'd have to end the stream, switch to normal oh, latency, bad, and then go back. Everyone say, do it, restart it, come back, redo it. <laughs> oh, man. Is that going to fix it, you think? I don't know. I've never done that before. I've never chopped it up into two things before. Oh, man, though, all the links that we shared online won't work anymore. I know. Okay, hold on. Um, what, Peter? What was that one last option that you said? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> um, what was it? Oh, it was to create a new OBS scene without any of our webcams uh -huh. using desktop audio capture to capture what you're getting from Skype of all of us. As opposed to piping in the webcams and the audio. Oh man, that's a lot. Whew. That's a lot. Everyone's saying restart it, restart the stream. <laughs> New cat. <laughs> Dang. Uh, boy, that's a. I'm gonna... had a really good suggestion. They said take a deep breath. I could use that. I mean, that's, that's always a good suggestion. Oh, yeah. I'll get a sip of water, too. There you go. Ian, how's the weather up there in uh, Washington? Pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. We had a couple days of 80, which was nice, and now we're back down to, like, oh, wow. 60s for the next however many weeks. We keep that's getting that, great. where it's, like, middle summer. Like, I think we touched 90 degrees, and then it goes back down to, like, 50, 60 degrees for a couple weeks. <laughs> Uh, you guys got good summers up there? Uh, in theory. Although lately they've been all smoky, you know. Right, Probably right. seen down there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if I can just get your guys' audio. I think that would hey, check, check. One, two, be three. helpful. S scheduled s stream can restart. Scheduled stream can restart. So if I stop the stream and restart it it'll pick back up really? i've never done that before man what what unit of currency is that i'm not sure whoa that's wild uh let's see restart will not fix it it's an upload speed issue but a hardware overload oh it's not an upload speed issue but a hardware overload mm. have you tried Nixon our webcams. Yeah, but I need but your audio is attached yeah. to the webcam. I'm streaming. But you can do an audio a desktop audio capture of your Skype. Okay, let's try this. Bear with me, y'all. Thank you for hanging in. I appreciate everybody's time. Alright. So I'm gonna get rid of our heads. And you guys All aren't right. gonna be able to hear our boys for a minute. You'll just be able to hear me. So they can't hear you now. So we're, we're going to add, let's see. Screw it. I'm going to show you guys how confusing this is. Bam. Look, look, how, look how crazy this is right here. Inception. All right. So here's what I need to do. This is, they see all the craziness that's going down right here. Yeah. Bam. Okay. So here we go. We want to got rid of your guys' heads. We're going to right click up in here. We're going to add a desktop. What is it? A desktop audio source or an audio output? Which one? 
That's a thing? Where is that? Audio. Shoot. I need to full screen this crap. I can't see anything. Thank you all. Thank you for bearing with us trying to fix this lag situation so you guys can freaking see what the heck is going on. Thank you for hanging in there with us. They still can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yes, it does. I'm gonna bring you guys back in here. Let's see. All right, you guys are back in. I'm, hey. I'm bringing your videos back in. Hey. I just need your guys' audio and not your video. Check. Well? Hello. Bandwidth. Highest? No. Audio only. <laughs> no, no. How? Lowest. Lowest bandwidth. How about that? Is Obis encoding on your GPU? I have no idea. That was one suggestion. To make it better? Yeah. And uh, another yeah. common suggestion is use NVENC encoding in OBS. But I don't think it's an encoding. Actually, it might be an encoding issue because that takes hardware. It's under settings output in OBS. All right, hold on. I got this one fire to put out here. Let me see. Your guys' heads are gone. Um, it's just so dang tiny. Let's see, Ren, let's reset Ren. Screw it, I'm gonna do audio only. Can I reset? I'm gonna just do audio only. I think it'll just be better that way. Okay. So you guys are just audio only right now? And okay. cool. Let's try this again. All right. So we get levels from y'all. You guys, can we hear y'all? Hey, check, check. All right. Hey. Hi. So you guys, we got audio levels. Um, and now we're trying to play this video, and it's doing its best here. Um, Looks like it's playing to me. Cool, cool. I'm just terrified to play it for too long. Oh, yeah. So I love this one. This one's great. Yeah, this one goes up for me. Super dope. I have little guys in the audience. Okay, so but we're back to like we're all we're all live right now, right? Like we are live. Yeah, we're we've been live. Yeah, we, everyone can hear you. No, I'm, let me rephrase. Like we're no longer troubleshooting. We're back to reviewing. We are back to reviewing for the next. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> yes. Um, how do you guys feel about this, this one? This shot. I love this one. I, it, looks, it looks real to me. It looks like an actual like shot. You know, I love the foreground elements. I love the silhouette. I love the, the light rays behind the, the elephant. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. The elephant's like, hey. <laughs> I'll get you guys in here. This one. Oh, yeah. I love mm -hmm. this one. Go back. Wait, go yeah, back. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I love this one so much. Uh, I love that little orb that he's pulling. I love the way the sand is kicking up underwater there. And of course, that fish is mm -hmm. such a cool looking fish. Yeah, I love the I fish. Love this one was Reveal good. This one. And then the fish appears and there. it's like... Yeah, this one's great. The first time I saw this, I didn't see the fish until like the last moment. So it was like, this shot evolves over the few seconds it has. Yeah, it's that reveal. It's all about that reveal. It's like super nice. Yeah. I'll move this one up. This one. People are saying this is a lot better. Good. Great. Ooh. Oh, 
I love, I love this one. one. Yeah, this one's sick. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. It's just like, ahead. it's like super nice. I like the vibes. I like the colors. Um, the render quality is really, really good. I'm digging this one a lot. Oh, wait. Yo, this one's been updated. It has been. <gasps> it has been. Yes. <laughs> no more floating birds. No, no more floating birds. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one goes up for sure. Yeah, I love this one. It reminds me of the new Pixar movie, Luca. Mm. Oh, yeah. Which is very good, by the way. So it looks like we're still getting yes. lag, guys. Um, I think it's like, it's good for a second, and then it goes back to just being laggy. Um, Maybe just look at each one individually, <coughs> at least this first round. Kind of like just let it build up a buffer and we talk about each one for a sec. Also, I think something to note is that we're like pausing and going back and skipping around, so that might look like lag to the audience. No, I'm looking at the the stream, and it's definitely frozen. Like I'm looking at it now, and it's just completely frozen. Huh. Yeah. Um, so the stream's bit rate is saying is lower than the recommended. Can I just open this thing? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's we're we're on a lower bit rate is what it's saying. Stream status is good. Um Yeah, part of me wishes I wishes I could just redo this with normal latency. What do you guys think? You, you think we should just reset this thing and like reboot it and have everyone come well, back? How confident are you that changing that latency setting will fix this? Um it is like we're basically at a crawling right now or at a snail's pace, and I think that if it, it's an option, but like Peter said, it is a nuclear option. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. I mean, if you, you think it'll legit the, fix uh, it. Okay. Have, have you good. tried putting on the uh, GPU in OBS? No, I should. Yeah, let's, yes, let's try yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. H.264 encode. Okay, where do, where do I go for under, that? Under settings. File. Uh, and, uh, no, like on the on the right, under like the streaming buttons. Settings, yes. Yeah, and then uh, just under output, change the encoder to NVENC. The uh, uh, streaming encoder. I can't mess with it because I think I'm streaming. Oh no! Well, you, can you cut the stream and then restart it within OBS while still keeping the YouTube link? I think so. Well, I'm that, gonna I'm gonna freaking try it. I'm just gonna try yeah. it. Um, if the stream goes down, we'll be back. There'll be a new link. It'll be on the Discord. I'll tweet it out. And if it goes down, I will switch to normal latency. And let's let's give it a shot. All right, All right. I'm gonna stop streaming. See ya. <laughs> See you in two seconds. Don't go anywhere. What happens. Let's see if we get back. Cool. Okay, I think we're back. Hello. Are we back? Are hello, we hello. Back? Yes. Hey. I'm still waiting for it to time. update on my. All right, we're yeah, back in. Pixelated. The stream? Oh wait, no, no, no. That's my settings for some reason. Nor me. Okay, we're back. Cool. How do you guys feel about this render? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah great. I love it cool. too. Yeah, let's move it up. <gasps> Ooh, it's buttery again. Yeah, oh yeah, now it's working well. Hopefully, let me give Long it a minute. In this one. Give it a minute. This one's gorgeous. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, this one's cool. I don't get it though. I don't exactly know what's uh, going on. Also, I just realized your name's on that giant sphere. It is yeah. Punisher yeah. Corp. <laughs> I love the character animation for that little robot. It's so expressive. Yeah. yeah this one get this one goes up for sure. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the big army. I like this. I like the color contrast. It's, it's cool. Uh, yeah. It's cool, but what do you think? Should we pass on it for Part top of seventy-five? Like, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I, well, I would pass got, on this one. We gotta say, like, not pass one out of every four. 
feel like we're either above or below quota. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna get you guys. Hey, on playback, let me get some playback here. Uh, playback quality, 1080. Let's give it a shot. Making it better. Ooh. Hold on, that popped. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one's cool. I I like the colors and the design, like the graphic design element to this. Yeah. As far as animation and story, I don't find it too compelling yeah agreed That's the thing. It, it, like the art direction here i think is really cool but it it, it just is limited to that you know uh, i don't really it's just a bunch of dudes that were duplicated instanced out and are all just kind of walking uh yeah I, cool. I, we do need to choose but, 75 of the 100 so i'm down if we think that to move on i'm down to move on already in the top four percent yeah yeah this one i like a lot yeah, I like the really idea good. of just this dude pulling a boat, walking on water, freaking Sauron's eye in the background. And what's going on underneath the water surface? Also, just dude. look at that subsurface going on when the lightning hits it and all that. Like, yeah. Those dudes below the water? Oh. Yeah. It's people. Whoa. It's people. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. It's freaking... The volumetric clouds in the background? Damn. Yeah, it just looks like a painting. I love this one. I love this... the clouds. Yeah, it looked like a classic painting. Yeah, that goes up. Cool. That goes up for sure. Um, how do we feel about this guy here? This just feels calm. I yeah. dig it. Very calm, sorry. relaxing. The Vietnamese rice field looks like. Yeah, I dig the uh, like the visual composition. Um, I like the silhouette. I think it's placed nicely. So, I think this one should go up. Yeah, cool. Yeah. This one's sweet. I don't know what's burning in the background, but like some sort of planetary uh, fiery wipe. <laughs> I think the moon just blew up. Something like that, yeah. So this one, this one is playing a little bit laggy on my end. Damn. The background environments in this one are, are really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rich. so much detail on the horizon. Is this a Dark Souls type deal? Yeah, it's Dark Souls. That's like the little fire right here. Mm. And then this is, I think, the starting level of Dark Souls. But I think this one's beautiful and should definitely go up. Yeah, definitely. Um, so playback on that one was laggy. Uh, but this one is playing smooth for me. So Yeah. This one I like too, but having literally just seen another one that was similar. I don't know what he's dragging, though. It's a giant skull, so I guess he just finished a monster hunt. Kind of oh, yeah, tongue just little legs sticking poking out. Up. It's, a, it's a monster. I like this one. I think this one is very, like, the lighting is great. I agree. Ian? I like the purple flowers. Yeah, let's, let's bring it up. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I love this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the dude taking a crap in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one goes up. It's I very like unique. The lines of the tiles, it really makes it uh, look like, you know, there's motion going on. And of course, obviously, the frickin' foam simulation going on. I don't know how they would have done that. It actually has, like, a shaving of... cream viscosity. Yeah, yeah. This one? This one's great. I like. So much going on. I love the story on this, yeah. the vibes. Yeah. Oh, the pop popcorn's like popping. Monica huh. Pier yeah. This one goes up. Yeah. Up. Dang. I love this one, too. I love the brightness of it the top 75 trees also i love everyone's creative take on twisting what the that sphere in the background is for instance this one that sphere is an explosion so it's not actually there on the first frame but it mm. is there yeah yeah it is nice i like it let's try and get, let's try and bring back the uh webcam and see if we can we can do that successfully <laughs> we we just not uh, we've lifted all of them but, like, one out of the last, like... It's so much harder being harsh when it's, like, a stream. I know, I know. Like, it was already felt so hard like, when we went through it the other night, and now it's just, like, knowing that whoever There's made only... it could be, like, watching, it's like, oh, man. They're yeah. all so good. Like, it's literally... There's only, I think, two that we've not passed on so far. Yeah, it's, like, two or three.
All right, I'm just gonna real quick um, reset your guys' heads up in here. Um, give me half a second. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to reset, Peter. Oh, get that yawn out, that nice big yawn. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try and get you guys set up in here. Uh, All right, Ian, everyone, everyone's telling us to be mean. Be mean, okay. Yeah. Well, of course they want us to be mean. They enjoy that. <laughs> All right, Ren, I got your little little Ren head back up in here. Sweet. Okay, let's see. Give me some levels, guys. Hey. Check, check. One, two, three. Cool. Hi. Yeah. My name's Peter. All right. Hello. So now uh, let, let us know, guys. Hopefully this goes well. Moving on. <laughs> Do we like this one? Do we think it's top seventy-five? I like this one. I love the I love the the particles. I love the depth of field. I love the detail. I love the the dedication to just the orange color palette and the glow. I don't know, smoke. Yeah, this one goes up for me. It feels like a bunch of like stock assets, kind of to me, that were like put together really well. I feel yeah. the same. I love this one. Yeah, this one's great. So this creative. One, I like a lot. Yeah, this it just nails the stop motion look. This goes up. And I have that exact like art desktop of stop motion. Desk. So yeah, we'll we'll touch on we'll touch on all these ones that are getting leveled up in detail as as we get a little further into it. But right now we have roughly let me see how much we have. <laughs> we've we've passed on two, and we're about twenty five percent. So we got a little more. <laughs> Sorry said, to everyone. This one has to go up. We haven't looked at yet. Yeah, this, this one's great. This one's amazing. Yeah, this goes up. I love eyeball one. It's unique. I don't know if I need to see it go up. It's unique. I yeah, I don't know. How do you guys feel? I love this one. I, I would, like it. I would put it up. All right, it goes up. It's definitely top seventy-five. Love the colors. This is top yeah. seventy-five for sure. Oh my god, there's also stuff going on in the background. I never. Yeah, realized. it's like a little operation. They're awesome. playing Katamari. Oh, is that Katamari? Yeah. Oh. So sick. This goes up. Yeah. Great Muppet Caper. I haven't thought of that movie in forever. <laughs> this one's creepy as hell. Oh, I, I love, love how it, all the little. Uh, I guess those are rats. I initially thought they were beetles, but. You only really see the their curved back. Yeah. As they just stay out of the way. I dig it. I think it should also, go up. I recently noticed that the, the rat in the background is actually moving. It's just huge. So it's moving really slowly. It's the god rat. I think he is moving too slowly. Like, detrimentally slowly for the shot. You know, it's like he needs a little bit more, mo more motion in my opinion. It's just like two keyframes. Yeah, it's too <laughs> slow. It's too slow. I hear you. Um, what do you think? Should we pass on it or move it up? Move it up. Yeah. Okay. There's so much going on. There's a good one. Yeah. The atmospherics in this one are nice. Yeah, this in one the, looks, I just have no idea what's going on. I love the muddy Low footsteps. tides. It's like a little fluid sim or something on the feet. Yeah, it's beautiful. This one's beautiful. It is. This one's running a little chuggy for me. I think it's a 4K one. Mm. Um, but this is beautiful. I, I think this should definitely go up. This is top 75 for me, for sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. I love how uh, people have been doing, like, cloth sims on their characters. There's some really good cloth sims going on. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, we're looking at the snowy orange dude. This one's this well one done. It's just a little plain. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's I really plain, like the in my opinion. In the composition, but it, I feel like it could use a a little bit more detail. Yeah. Are the clouds well, strobing it, it in the background? Depth. Yeah, they're popping. They're like popping in and out. Like you're gonna go minimal. You gotta like really dial in the stuff you do have. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Like this one would have been better had there been some things connecting the background to the foreground a little bit more to kind of more show off the parallax. Personally, I, I'd, I'd pass on this one. Yeah. Uh, due to that, it's just it's a plane. Agreed. You know. 
It's a plane, and it makes it plain. <laughs> <laughs> so these 4K ones are a little chunky, but this looks cool. I dig I the scan line, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one feels pretty unique to me. It's, he's like a little 2D cutout. What do you guys think? Should we pass, or do you think uh, good for 75? I like it, but I'd pass. Yeah. yeah, I feel the same. It's definitely a sweet render. But uh, again, it's it's difficult to understand like the story of this one. I guess it's, you know, scanline guy escaped his machine. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's taking the ar arcade taking the arcade with him. Running. Like it has story to it. I maybe this is top 75. Yeah. It has story and it's like it's well done. <laughs> it's well done. I like the chromatic aberration going on. It's like just subtle enough. Yeah. I'll move it up. This one I love. Yeah. Oh, I I'm totally am a fan. So anything Titanfall related is automatically really cool in my book. Same. Agreed. Uh, but at the same time, it, it lacks originality in the sense that, like, it is a reference. You know, it's it's, uh, you know, it's referencing a pop culture thing, a video game, and to me, when we're up to these top picks and whatnot. It, it kind of it's it's slightly detrimental in terms of the originality, but I think it's absolutely top seventy five. I I agree, but it is so well done. Like the it's environment so well work yeah. is so gorgeous. It looks straight out that of the background game. Background like, planet is yeah. Yeah. amazing. I, I'm gonna move this up. Oh, this is waterfall. good. Oh, absolutely. This one I like, but I. I have no idea what's going on. It's it's like almost yeah. too abstract. Dang, this one's laggy too. I'm gonna switch back to uh, 12, 1280 here. It's definitely sweet. It's but yeah, I'm I'm having like I don't immediately know what's going on and can connect on an emotional level with it like I can a lot of the other ones. I think it's yeah. dribbling some stuff on him. The fluid sim is sweet. Little... Yeah. I love how the light's catching it. Let me try pre-rendering these real quick. Um, That's a great idea. How you guys doing? You guys hanging in there? I'm doing all right. I, I yeah. like yeah, you can do your thing. I've been drinking too much coffee. <laughs> Let's um. Right yeah, go for oh it. All right, this, pause. Pause on the stream, everyone. Sorry. Uh, um, I'll be back a, in eight. A parting thought for the audience: Isn't lasagna just spaghetti flavored cake? Wait, what? Just say that and leave. He just left. Oh, Ian, how are you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing good. Have you have you heard of Corridor Digital? They're this YouTube channel. I have, yes, indeed. They just featured me in one of their videos, and I haven't had a chance to watch it. Dude, that's awesome. I have not had a chance to watch it either. But you did a little VFX artist react thing, right? Yeah, they all like sit on the couch and they like react to stuff. That's awesome. And you did? Did you talk about Dynamo? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, so good, man. Freaking insane. That so that took you three years to do. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out how to do the next one uh, faster, which has been which has been fun. Still keeping Part it like twenty brains. minutes ish. No, no. I, I mean, I love the idea of doing like a, a two minute one too, just because it's the internet. You know, you can do you can do whatever. But uh, and the next one like feature length. I don't know. I always think that's great about the internet is you can make them whatever length you want. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you think you'd ever do a feature length thing? I'd, I'd love to, just every time I've ever played with anything, you know, in the feature realm, it takes so long that I'm totally scared. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I feel like, especially too, if it's in your style where it's like just crazy VFX world, it would be, oh man, that would take so long. My goodness. But I'm really looking into some really 
cool practical locations so I can do like augmentation instead of like having to generate the whole thing. Oh, is this a little blue bar at the bottom, like the, the pre-render? Yes. Oh, so we just have to like kill time for like two more minutes. Oh no, we'll be good. Once Ren's back, we can hop right into it. Oh, can render as it plays back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and we're we're gonna oh. we're not gonna like watch through it back to back. Like, we're gonna talk about it in a little bit and stuff. So oh, we should have done this forever ago. Hopefully, this works. Yeah, um, I really appreciate you guys bearing with me on this stream. There's a lot of uh, I know there's a lot of technical difficulties, uh, but we're gonna get through it. I appreciate you guys. Um, lessons learned for sure. Lots of lessons learned. Yeah, you're doing you're doing great, man. Yeah. You're killing it on the fly. <laughs> Trying to, man. Uh, welcome back. It's the nature of having this, you know, be live. Absolutely. Hey, Ren, did everything come out okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm literally at a, a house right now uh, with a whole bunch of other people. There are literally 30 people staying at this house. Most of them are in their early 20s, and they, they're already starting to party. And I'm just out here chilling. I have a really cool backdrop, but... This is great. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Heck yeah. Let's finish this up. Let's get this top 75 going. We have... Yeah. We've only passed on three. We need to start passing, guys. Go back to it. I mean, it's sweet. It's yeah. sweet, but I don't... R.I.P. to everyone in the final strings. third of the order. Yeah. Stationary. All right, this goes up. Finch. All right. Can you just like, re okay, here's another quick suggestion. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to label, color label any of these so you don't have to change their track at all, which might mess with the pre rendering? I don't, it doesn't look like it messes with the rendering. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. good. Great. Hello, oh, man, Footmonk. foot dude. Footman. Footmonk. <laughs> Is that just a star? That's a Stargate. Huh. And uh, what looks like a, a crystal from Zelda, or an Ethereum crystal. I like it, but I could I could pass. Yeah, I agree. I... it's sweet. It made me giggle, but that's as much as it's doing for me. Rip. This one I like. I love this one. I think it's unique, um, and I I hadn't seen any other render in all of these this whole contest like this. Yeah, this I love. I love the way it. Uh, I forget the name of it. Where you have like the spiral that kind of just keeps going and going. Like a vanishing point thing, like a like a Mobius. Yeah, yeah kind of like a Mobius. M Mandelbrot maybe is the name of it. I can't think of the name, but it's it's got like that, you know, that corkscrew going off into the distance. I dig it. You guys think? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, let's yeah. bring it up. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's right. We're at, we're at no a really question. good view going on right here. Starting with this one. I love this one a lot. This one evokes an, an immediate emotional response. Yeah. There's something so unnerving about all those little characters just kind of like being all weird and jumping up on them. And, and it feels claustrophobic. Yeah, this one's sick. This one goes up for me for sure. Easy. Move yeah, on. the sim is insane. <laughs> Oh, I love this one. I mean, look, I'm wearing a green screen shirt right now. Like, I'm a sucker for green screen. <laughs> this one's sick. Uh, yeah, way, way to go. Way to freaking, like, take the prompt and, like, flip it on his head and do something cool with it. Like, And it's, yeah, it's still, it's still got that, that, that orb. Yeah, it's got the sphere. Foreground. I haven't really seen many foreground orbs. Yeah. That one goes up. I have that ladder right over there. <laughs> really? <laughs> There's so many little details in this one. I love the mocap data is directing. Yeah, yeah, the little like mocap screen and like the director, the mocap director. Yeah. Director Bones. Yeah, this one we'll definitely be talking more about later. Definitely. God dang. This one is also I great. I love this one. <laughs> just the, the use of tone. Goodness. Mm -hmm. It's like it's not just black and white. It's it's like there's so much tonality within all of the black and white. And of course, the of touch of red. <sighs> yeah, this one is A plus. A plus. It, it does look like a cotton balls. Oh, yeah, this one. This one's sick. Render quality oh, is really nice. Yeah, I dig this one. Good, good use of the prompt here with the sphere. 
Yeah. And also, he's pushing against something rather than pulling, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I dig it. It's still passed, though. He's still passed. Uh, you know what? I, I'm i also going to pass on it, too. I dig it, but I don't know. So it's Maybe it's the color palette isn't rich enough for me. I mean, hey, if it's a pass, it's a I pass. Know. You know, like, all that matters is I'm the top pass. five. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pass. Okay. All right. MDK, I love you. <laughs> love this one. Yeah. Uh, I just want to hang out there. Yeah. Like, there's there's a... So, here's... here's Now that I'm actually looking at this again, I'm, I'm a little confused by the perspective. We have this ship in the foreground shooting directly sideways to a planet in the distance. So, is the ship the size of the planet, or is the planet the size of a ship? Yeah. So, it's, it's just going exact. into the distance. It's a yeah, but, like, the, the laser doesn't have a vanishing point on it, you know? I don't well, know. I'm being super uh, nitpicky, like, needlessly. It's diffusing as it, as it goes, you know. This one's sick. This the colors on this guy is are freaking great. This is like vibrant city, and it's my favorite. I like how the the grass changes color. Yeah, this is what oh, yeah. Outside Lands felt like a couple years ago when I was just high out of my mind, and they lit up all the trees with lights. <laughs> 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 this one's uh, this wasn't up, you guys. You think? Definitely yeah. cool. <laughs> See, this one's cool. They they added. I like I like the addition of all of the 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 the. Uh, it's not dust. The snow, the drift, the air drift, the wind that you see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, snow drift, and of course the extra animation. I don't know if that's like mocap animation or or um, wait Mixamo. I'm going on Mixamo.com right now. <laughs> don't do it, Peter. I'm doing it. What do you guys think? Top seventy five. I I would say no. Though I do, I'm I do like it. it. I'll pass on it. My favorite yeah, part about it, great. honestly, is the Death Star. The Death Star looks very nice. Yeah. Clean. Good job. It looks really nice. The dynamics are good, but I freaking dig it. Again, it goes back to the. Uh, it's. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Star Wars. Anything directly referencing it is uh, overplayed. It is a mix of animation. I love <laughs> it. I love it. Was it laughing? Did you type in laughing? Yeah. <laughs> so this one though, the. Uh, I, I'm getting some real Horizon Zero Dawn vibes from this, and I love that game. And mm. it's not—it's not not a direct reference, like I was literally just saying a moment ago. But I got the vibes. And I like the implied story here that he's dragging a parachute. You can see like a crashed spaceship in the background. It's pretty sweet. I love that crashed spaceship. I love the the clouds kind of forming the the circle element with mm-hmm. the flare going right to the middle. Like that's that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, this is an up. This is for sure an up. Yeah. So I think I've been really appreciating the use of negative space for that sphere instead of actually having uh, a tangible sphere. So an idea, because we're about halfway through, um, we, if we love it, let's just say up because we're gonna come back to it. We're gonna talk about it later when we see it again. So if we Fair if enough. we love it, let's just mo- let's just say all agree like yep, move it up. If we feel like it should be a pass, then maybe we can touch on why. Then we'll, we'll get into the 75 and the 50 from there. Does that sound good? So if you love it, we shouldn't talk about it. Yeah, because we're going to talk about it later. We'll only go into detail if we don't like it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Is this like the background blob's baby? Oh, wow. <laughs> Is it? He's kidnapping the baby. It's like the Rona. It's the Roni, I think. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, I could probably pass on this one. It's good. It's well rendered, but... I could pass on it. Yeah. The I, I was saying guy. this when we talked about it last time, but I just kept getting. Uh, wait, go, wait, go back to it, Clint. It's the uh, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the zinc. Good uh, soft body there. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one's uh, incredible. Hundred percent. Yes. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Peanut man. Yes. Burger man. Definitely. Definitely. We'll see you later. Does he have a bottle cap hat? I don't... It, maybe? Does he have a bottle cap and cardboard hat? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one, I don't get what's going on in this one. Uh, it's it's pretty. I love the forest in the background, but I just... I don't get it, you know? Yeah, it's well done. It's just a little, like, random, I guess. Yeah, what's that thing on the arbitrary. fishing pole? Is that a bell? I don't know. Or a lantern? Not sure. Or a lantern. lantern. 
Uh, it looks like hot dogs on a train in the background. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Oh, mm. hot dog train gets me gets me back in. <laughs> 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 I could probably pass on this one. It's great. Like I said, I could, I could pass. it's uh, your top hundred. It's freaking top notch. I love the color palette of this one. I do too, but I think the last colorful one was better. I don't know. Yeah, this one, I'm not particularly a fan of the color palette, to be honest. Uh, I almost feel like the vibrance is too high or something. Like I, I the love that excessive vibrance. Is too high maxing out that saturation yeah that being said i love the lighting and the colors but besides that it doesn't really draw me in very much yeah i'm done to pass on it i like this one a lot i don't get it but i i don't know this one i think deserves to move on mainly just because i love anytime someone can mess with the rules and like reinterpret it and push the boundaries of what the rules mean I dig and uh, having like a person on a treadmill. I mean, I'm just gonna say yes for now. I don't know. About I think yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think this I one's yes. sweet. I have absolutely no idea what's. I mean, I guess it's just a person powering an entire factory. Yeah, uh, and there's like a meat grinder in the back or something. Right. Well, that meat. Didn't notice the meats. It's like I think it's coffee beans. There's little coffee beans right up in here. No, that's the definitely meat. meat. <laughs> it's just grinding up people. Oh boy, <laughs> it gets the up. It's a good one. This one I dig a lot. This one's very uh, painterly. I'm, oh. I'm just gonna say yes for now. We can move. Incredible. On. Yeah. Oh yeah. Incredible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Love it. Lucas. Shout outs. Good stuff. Yeah. This is this is an up. I love it. I like this lighting. Yeah. I like it too. It's like it's, it's such clean composition too. Uh, if it's yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll put it up. Yeah, I'll put it up. I'll put it up. Oh my god, yes. Yep. Huh. This is probably this my least good. favorite of all of the one hundred. What? Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. This one's a yes. This is so good. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. We'll see you later. <laughs> I could pass on this one. I could pass. It's good. I love the vibes. Great vibes. Same. It's just. But it's like yeah, that. I could pass. And I don't know. It's uh. Feels a little simple. Shoutouts to Mark. Good stuff, man. I enjoy the render. Great composition. Yeah, this one's sweet. I like it. Volumetrics. There's a lot of great layers. Yeah, I'll put it up. Yeah. In the light rays, mm. I like the vibes of this one. Yeah, same. This is an up. Come on, this is top seventy-five for sure. Yeah, this is this is going yeah, yeah. up. And Ian's in that one. Yeah, I was about to say Ian. Isn't that you there? But I'm like working in a, a little shop. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> You're like, oh, that was not much of a punch zoom there. Um, <laughs> you want to present? So the bottom, you you are down here by these plants. Is that you? I think that's me, and also that's the same model of me to the to the left there. Over here? In the shop? Yeah. And then is this is Sam from Rococo? Yeah, that's Sam Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. All right, that's enough for sure. Uh, moving on. Whoa, this is so overstimulating. I mean, it's amazing. There's a lot going like, on. Yeah, I feel like it's almost too much. It's like it lacks focus. I would disagree. Like, it's. I think this is great. Oh, the swarm of flies around the garbage. And the, like, oh, that's oh, yeah, you're right. The wind on the garbage when the car goes by, too. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. This is top 75. High level, high detail, at least. High yeah. Bump it. All right, bumped. Oh, caves. caves RD. My boy. I love this one. Yeah. I love the color yeah. so much, and I love that he just, like, spawns out of the gas, emitting the out of the ground. The fireflies, yeah. particle system. Yeah, that's 
It's also just gorgeous lighting. Yeah, it's gorgeous lighting. Absolutely. Like I could use a still frame at the very the very first frame of that. I could keep as like a wallpaper. He's in uh, yeah. Unreal Engine as well. Nice. This is Unreal. Yeah, it was Unreal. Wow. What? This, this one was, I love a lot. That's a good story. This is, this yeah. One, yeah. There's a story going on. Cool. Definitely getting some Neo breaking out of the Matrix vibes here. I'll put that up. Mm -hmm. That goes up. Oh. Oh. Ups. Oh. Love all Storm. this stuff going on. Yeah. Don't Storm. even get started. Ups. We'll come back. We'll see you later. What's the name of that town? Uh, Pripyat? Outside of uh, mm. in the Ukraine? Pripy uh, Chernobyl, mm. you know? Mm. Right. Oh, he's definitely got some Chernobyl vibes on this. This kid just wants to find his parents. Oh, it's really good. Um, oh wait, no, they're in the background. Look to your left. What? Where? No, there's just somebody under an umbrella. Oh no, that's a flesh-eating marauder. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Where? The, under the umbrella. On the right, the yellow, yellow, umbrella. yellow umbrella. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's somebody under there. The chromatic aberration is a little the intense. Chromatic aberration. <laughs> What do you? I like this one. The color palette is not for me, mm -hmm. but it's very well. I mean, well it's done. like yeah, it's like intentionally muted. I'm not gonna lie, I like it a lot, but at the same time, it doesn't speak to me. So I it's could pass on it. Yeah, I'm done to pass on it. It's great. I dig it. Well, pass. The environment work is very good. Ooh, Agreed. I like this one. I like those little lights on the string. Mm-hmm. Depth of field is done right here, I feel. Yeah. I think this is good. It's unique. Lit well. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, is he putting his own hand in a pencil sharpener? No, there, I think oh, there's, no, there's a pencil in there. <laughs> it's hilarious. He's sharpening his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love the giant creature in this one. I just wish I knew what the fuck was going on. I mean, I guess it's yeah. like a Titan, uh, Attack on Titan like thing, a right? Colossal type deal. Dude, he blew a hole uh, through this wall. <laughs> that's exactly. Oh, that's the wall from Attack on Titan. Like that's what happened, ten seconds before this. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, let's bring it up. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, I see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is my. I know Peter favorite. loves this one. Yeah, this one is the best. This is my fiance's favorite it's, one. It just makes me giggle. I love yeah. it. This is this gets up. It's so perfect. Oh, is yeah, that this one. Going on? It's good. I like the, little, uh, the world is crazy, right? but I think I could pass on this one personally. Yeah, I mean, it's got re some really nice high detail going on, both in the foreground and the background. Yeah, the design is gorgeous. Yeah, that background is amazing. Should we put it up then? <laughs> it's a yes from me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up. We, we are right, doing 3v1. Better. God dang. Yes. 100%. No dang. It feels intense. Mm -hmm. I can feel it's intense. We'll come back to that. I like this one a lot. This is so friendly. So uh, they're going for like the Studio Ghibli vibe here, mm -hmm. right? That being said, I wonder, like, are these cutouts from movies being placed in here, or are these originals? I, I don't know. That's another thing that is kind of hard to judge, is, like, how far does the asset creation go? Are they just pulling from a library and placing stuff in, versus creating the assets from scratch to put Who in? Who knows? Uh, so it's hard to kind of judge something, because obviously the more creative asset creation that goes into something, the richer and more... Uh, novel it is versus kit bashing. I want to assume they they drew all of this. Yeah. Yeah, because the the guy pulling the car that's definitely not from a Ghibli movie. And the uh, the painted look like projected on the geometry is so is so. It's good. amazing. I think it should go up. Oh, those little crabs. Those I agree. Little crabs on the steps. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, these little guys. All right. Ian, you love the crabs. <laughs> Crab, I laughed out like okay. I laughed out loud when uh, she looked out the window and saw that crab with the sword. <laughs> that was like so my good. favorite part awesome. of the whole thing. Ooh. I love the use of silhouettes here. 
It's like mm. this is like an artfully done depth mat. <laughs> yeah. I'm down on this, but I could I could probably pass on this one. Yeah, I, I could too. Yeah, you know it's gorgeous, but it doesn't stand out. I don't know. It it stands out, but at the same time, I could pass. It's like it's it feels rich and it feels intentional. Uh, it, Oliver, it's gorgeous though. Shout outs to Oliver. Oliver, hey, I'll man, see you. Shout out on the next one. <laughs> Um, it's good, but I could probably pass on this one too. I could pass on it. I don't know. Nothing's really jumping out to me as like noteworthy. It's it's a cool you know graveyard scene. It, it's lit well enough. I don't know, and I I can't put my finger on what's not speaking to me about this. Yeah, I I love the the low mist mixed in there with the weeds, but uh, I could I cool, pass. Sure. Part I think if it had like some more interesting lighting going on. I think something I really that speaks to me in these renders is having a little, like a tiny little confusing element. It's like, oh wait, what's going on here? And then your brain, you figure out the story. You're like, oh, that's what's happening. And then you feel, it's like rewarding for watching the render because you kind of like figure out the story. And I feel like in the ones where there isn't much of a story, it's just, it's looking at a very pretty painting. But yeah. you know. Also, I, I'm also coming to realize that I, I think another thing that kind of pushes me away from liking something like this is that, you know, they're not really taking advantage of the actual mocap context, you know, like this person is just like leaning really far forward, holding a lamp and it doesn't really seem justified, you know, like Fair. he's not pulling anything. He's not pushing anything. Fair. He's not, you know, resisting mo motion. He's got to lean into the bat stream. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the air is thick with bat poo poo, you know, <laughs> <laughs> But I'll pass on this one, yeah? You guys agree? Yeah. Okay. Compositionally, it's nice, but yes, I pass. Shout out to Paul. Ooh. I like the initial uh, the punch of contrast, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's nice. The silhouettes are great. The wind is great. Yeah. The glare. The grass animation is wild. Not quite sure what's going on. Is it choppy? That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Is that how the song goes? I don't know. I think it's just wind. I could pass on this one. It's it's nice. I, I, I can pass. Too. Yeah. Shout outs. Abilash, I think. Great environment design. I'm curious if this pink is purple. Kit Bash. Do they does Kit Bash 3D have a like a, a stacks pack? <laughs> or that the Ian Hubert pack. Can you see any of your assets, Ian? I don't think so. Not that that's, you know, like a factor. No, I'm just curious. Like, I'm just trying to not, you know, uh, I had multiple people message me worried about that. The, uh, the stacks, I don't know, it speaks too much Ready Player One for me. It's a solid vendor, though. I'd bring it up yeah. just because it's like, there's so many little things going on everywhere. Yeah, I'd bring yeah, it up. It's, and it's I like very cool. I'll move it up. It gets the it gets the upgrade. Also, by the way, we have just under six thousand people in this live stream right now. That's insane. Wow. Really? Yes. What's up, everybody? That's like that is more than four times uh, the amount of max people I've ever had. Like this is insane, guys. Thank you for joining us. Shout outs. Um, thanks to Ian, Peter, and Ren for doing this with us. Going to the top hundred renders. Pleasure. We're whittling it down to top 75 right now. We're going to get down to the top five and, uh, and issue some, some prizes to some winners. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Thanks for hopping in here. Thanks for sticking in. Thanks for seeing it past the, uh, the technical difficulties. We're on the, I feel it now. We're, we're, doing, we're doing well. <laughs> I don't know what technical difficulties you're talking about. It's been smooth. <laughs> Perfectly, flawlessly smooth. Smooth sailing. Let's keep going. Sick. I love the style of this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one's bomb. Ups, ups. I love that the sun shines on everyone. Doesn't even fit like in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> it actually genuinely feels like nested graphic design. Mm -hmm. Um, Ian, you get the ups. Yeah, ups. Yeah. It feels so alive. Mm, I love this one. I love this one. I love the idea that like you have these giant floating. Uh, 
spheres, you know, I guess dropping pesticide on the on these fields, but <laughs> they there's no propulsion system for them, so you got to like tow them, but you're still using yeah. robots to do it. <laughs> That was pretty and cool. And I like the robot design. Yeah, it's a good yeah. robot design. Super dope. This gets the ups. Good composition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woo. Woo. I love this one. Love it. Love ups. it. Ups. Ups, 100%. God dang! Ups. Oh, yeah. Ups, 100%. So much talking about it. Yeah. Get that shit up. There. It's up. It's chilling. The more I watch this one, the more I don't like it. <laughs> This, this one? one? No, sorry, the previous one. Uh, we'll return. This one also, yeah, we'll get to it. This one, I, I, I like. I like this. One. This one, I like a yeah, lot. Yeah, me too. It has like I love the I like, like it. Has, dynamic range is incredible. The silhouettes yeah, are so cool. I think the only thing that detracts it for me is I wish I saw some more like texture detail. It just seems like there's a lot of bump detail and displacement detail, but no like texture. I kind of like, like the that. ground on everything. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of the style. Yeah, I suppose. I'm down. It gets the up for now. Cool. This one's gorgeous. It's growing yeah, this flowers. Really cool. Yeah, the flowers growing. That's a pretty sweet system. I don't know how they did that. If that's like a C4D thing or like a Houdini thing. I don't know. Pretty dope. Yeah, just right. This bring it I'm up. I'm bringing it up. Hand. Yeah. All the way up. Mm. Ups. Oh, Ups. Yeah. This one, I love this one so much. I don't know what it is about it, but it just looks so clean, uh, yeah. so sharp. It's like it's like uh, the mids were lifted or something. Perfect. Like, ah, yeah, or like this, like it's like the mids were lifted and the and the blacks were like crushed down just enough, and it, the color correction is perfect. This definitely goes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love how, how textured the grounds are in yeah. like so many of these. Yes, like, you feel like you can yeah. touch them. Yeah. Dang. Whoa. Pretty freaking uh, sweet. So, like, the fantasy element here is cool. I love this. The, the little staff is a little, feels a little glitchy. It does, a little wonky on the <laughs> arm movement. I love the tiptoe uh, maneuver. Yeah, tiptoe on mm -hmm. water. See the puddles? Yeah, that's well done. Sorry, the, the ripples going out. I wish that big foot did something to the water. Oh, a big splash. Oh yeah, it does kind of just fade through, huh? What do we think, guys? I really like this one. I yeah. like it. Yeah, let's bring it up. God dang! Mm. Oh. Mm. This one's in the thumbnail to this. It video. is. This goes up for me, <laughs> easy. That's like some of the best. I love the the cloth sim work going on, but we can talk about this more later. Yeah, that's amazing. I feel like I can. Hear yeah. It. Huh. Spooky town. Great. I'm gonna say no on this one. I say this one's an automatic pass for me. I don't know why. Uh, I'm down to. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, but. I'm down to pass on it. Um, we gotta get, you know, we gotta whittle this down. You know. It's, yeah, we. It, yeah, it's dope. But compositionally, I feel like it could be a bit more focused, as opposed to like, like here's a bunch of different things you can look at, as opposed to here are a few things that make sense together that you can look at. Yeah. You know? Shout outs to Sean. Good stuff, man. I love it. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time understanding this. Yeah, I don't know it's like what it is. Like, I think there's an... I'm intrigued. Definitely. Mm -hmm. There's also, like, weird light directions going on right now. You have, like, the giant light source in the back, but there's a shadow from the dude on the little, like, broken wall piece behind him. So it's like, obviously, there's a spotlight coming from behind camera. I don't know. It's... It's... it's very interesting. I could pass on this I, one. It looks like he's dragging a giant, like, fleshy baked potato. <laughs> fleshy baked potato. Yeah, it's interesting, but it's hard to understand, which gives it a pass in my book. I could I pass. I can pass. Cool, cool. Simon, shout outs, man. Good stuff. Dang. I love I like the use of the foreground element extending into the background to give a sense of scale. Yeah. Yeah, like this one's certainly a lot better than that that one, that one we looked at at the beginning with the uh, just the flat ground and the orange jumpsuit. It's like having that that pipe going off into the distance really helps cement it all together. I was doing I, the uh, or like listening to the developer commentary for Half Life Alex, and like the first map that you load into with all those giant pipes 
going yeah. off in the distant, distance. That's why they did that, is to give you a sense of scale. That's cool. Gotcha. Oh, you guys... Man, I'm all about that sense of scale. <laughs> sense of scale. <laughs> this isn't up for y'all? Yeah. Ups. Yeah. God. Mm. This Dang. one is a favorite. Yeah. Ups. I like it so much. This is one of my yes. favorites. 100%. 100%. I just love the justification oh, for the mocap. Yeah. 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 Mm. Oh, man. This one's also great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can talk about this one a lot. So this goes up. For now, move on. Man, this one's deep. Man. Oh, yeah. This oh, is, uh, tense. This one's... Uh, very dark. <laughs> uh, just a, uh, yeah, it's just this one's kind of depressing. <laughs> it's it's yeah. beautiful. It's uh, very well done. What do y'all think? I'd say ups. Up. Yeah. I would I'd bring it up. Yeah, I'll bring it up, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that balloon. <laughs> it's so puffy. Balloon's great. One thing that bothers me is that the scale of the smoke sim is off. It, it seems like a way bigger smoke sim. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It really yeah. seems parented to the train. Does that have like a blown up boiler? That's a weird detail. I'm like, I, like this one says, I, I yeah, I, I could pass too. This one has like, it, it has it all, but I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. Oh, it's the a yes. race. Huh? The uh, the balloon. It's the country cross cup, and you can see the other racers like in the oh. background, and his exploded. Oh, oh, whoa. that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, this is a yes for me, definitely. Yeah. Okay, we'll move it up. We'll move it up. Nothing against you. <laughs> Nothing against you, sir. Um, Valentine. I love the detail. I love the surf surface imperfections. Great material. Uh, the lighting is, is yeah. pretty good for uh, these materials. I like the blood, but yeah. I can also... I can pass. Yeah, the reveal of the chest piece in the foreground that has blood is pretty sweet. That being said, I think it's a pass for me. Yeah. I can pass. Venue? Venue? It's, it's just, I don't know, it's very sharp. I love the specular highlights on it. This one... Fantastic lighting. I love the background, the whole like background right. Path. Yeah, beautiful. The slanted building with the steam and everything is like sick. This one gets an up for yeah. me. Cool. Mm -hmm. The bear. <laughs> Pulling a bear. Love the bear. Like the only thing, my only gripe on this one is the background. It's like the the foreground and everything is so well done. I love the lighting. is perfect. It's just that like the background smokes him, it almost looks like they took it and they stretched it only on one axis or something. Yeah. 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 I hear you. I can also, pass on this one. I'm having a hard time understanding what's going on in the background. You got that really white smokes him and then the black mm -hmm. smokes him. I get, they were probably trying to just really match that cur the, the circle element. So they're just mm -hmm. massaging it. But yeah, I mean, I, I could, I could pass, but I will miss. I'm not particularly a fan of the composition, bear. to be honest. Vlad, shoutouts, man. I like your colors a lot. <clears throat> I think it's good stuff. The bear is great too. This one's friggin' dope. This one I love because it's, it, and it's another one where it's like, there is an antagonist, you know. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a bit of a creative twist on the prompt again, you know, where you have these guys that are pulling things or pushing on things, but this guy is resisting a force. Kind of like the yeah. arrow. Yeah, this gets the yeah, up for me just based off the fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. the it's good fire too. For, uh, it's, it's a good somebody fire pushing thing. through something really difficult or uh, persevering. Yeah, I'm a sucker for. It. Gets yeah. the up. Yeah. yeah. Getting to the last few here. Six. Willie. Wow. Uh, this uh, one's a good one. Ian, you the did this McDonald's one. McDonald's right? fly. <laughs> This is William Lang Land. I think he's in the chat right now. Um, this dude's like 14 or 15. This dude's insane. He's, a, he's incredible. That's nuts. Yeah, this gets the up for me. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. This one is Love the colors and darn amazing, but the other Death Stranding one I liked a like just a touch better. 
I'm I'm kind of thrown by the scale of the shot because it's like it looks like the background, sorry, the mountains there are way further behind the orb that is technically behind it, but the orb feels closer somehow. I don't know why. In the in the top right. Yeah. Yeah, it does feel a little weird. It's really. I think the colors are gorgeous. The lighting is really nice. However, the composition doesn't really draw draw your eye anywhere. It's got yeah. five different spots to look at, and I don't really know where to look. There's a lot going on. No doubt, it is amazing. I like it. I, I, I could pass, though. I could pass. Okay, yeah, same. Yeah, shout outs. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm a fan of that color. Mm. Oh, I am a fan of that color. The colors and the density, but the composition is still, like, feels really clean. Yeah, totally. I'm down. Yeah. Ups. Mm. Ups. This looks good. There's so much going on. So many little fish. Yeah. The bubbles, the, the schools. Of fish. It's just like the render quality is Jellyfish. sick. Jellyfish? Absolutely beautiful. This thick? Yeah. Jeez. God damn. So I much weather. Rain. I love it. I love the light. It's like the hovercraft flies over and like illuminates the rain. That is cool. Oh, that yeah. Is cool. Uh, oh, that is cool. Dude, yeah, in the passing waves of yeah. rain is incredible. This would be cool to hear like with sound. A lot of people oh, like, yeah. did sound with theirs, yeah. This gets the up for me. Definitely. Oh. Uh, it, I like it. It also just looks like Ian that you did this, you know? This is like straight up your style. There are some of my elements in there, yeah. I think my my biggest critique of this one would just be that the truck isn't moving at all like relative to the the frame. It looks kind of like yeah. a, a kinda, Yeah. It just yeah. feels a little right. weird. It could be rocking up and down a little bit or side to side, just a little bit of motion, like rattling perhaps. I'll put it up though. Unless maybe is he pulling it? Is it on the ground? He's I don't know. Pushing push yeah. or something. Oh, gotcha. That's cool. Yeah, because there's somebody in there. I think they're push starting it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this gets the up. This is good. Cool. Yeah. And and Great this life. last one is mine. I'm not done with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not done with it. Oh, this is the first time seeing yeah. it. That's a pass for me. Definitely. I'll delete the file. Yeah, no. I'll delete my archive. <laughs> I was the rim light on awesome. the character, though. What's Thank you. Now. Another five seconds. Um, it's a robot that's like crashed or that's like chilling out in this canal. It's destroyed. There's this like little machine gun up here that they had a little robo war going on, you know? That's awesome. Nice. But yeah, still working on this. Um, hard pass. Everyone in the chat agreed. I'll delete the file. Bam, it's gone. <laughs> um, Brutal. Let's figure out what we got here. Let's see. We have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We need to get rid of six. We need to get rid of six, okay? So I'm gonna just like thumb through these these thumbnails here, and we need to pick six that need. Or, or we can just go straight to the top fifty. That's done. True. Moving on. Let's just like this next round. We're gonna be way more strict about what makes it versus not. We've now. We now have a baseline of what we've seen. We know uh, the ones that elicited the most sort of emotional response, and those are kind of the ones that are going to continue on. All of them are incredible. All of them have really cool color, composition, tone, all of that stuff. The render settings are all nice. The simulations are all very cool and, and well done and detailed. Mm -hmm. But it's time to be strict. Time yeah, to, this is when we're just turning <laughs> off our love. supportive friend dial, and we're turning on our dick <laughs> dial. <laughs> All right, so I need to get rid of, hold on now, hold on now. I tried to do a sweet transition and it didn't work yet because I got I to gotta undo something real quick. Uh, hey. Now maybe it'll work. Top 50, yes indeed. Is this actually the speed the chat's going at? Yeah, I think so. Wow. This is like just seeing the matrix. <laughs> 
pretty crazy. Wait, we're on we're on top seventy five right now. Bam! All right. I'm gonna fill up my coffee. You guys want anything? Yeah. Can you grab me a pizza or something? <laughs> yeah, I got you. All right. I need to redo the window capture here. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing all right? Good. I'm doing great. I'm checking out the chat right now. Uh, it is going crazy. Let's see. Let's. Everyone said hi. Delete the window <laughs> capture and add a, a window capture. Add existing window capture. Oh, but I gotta do the freaking thing. Here we go. We're gonna make it work. Wait, what? Yo, what's up, shovel man? <laughs> All right, bam, bam, bam. I uh, do I have like? I just drank this entire French press. Can I? Can I disappear? For you can disappear seconds? for 45 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So if y'all are just joining us, we made it to the top 75 and we are going to, we're going to review some art here, y'all. We're whittling it down. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Ren, how you doing, man? I, I appreciate you I'm doing all right. taking the time. I, you're you're out on a freaking like basically like a bachelor party. <laughs> I mean, kind of, not really, but uh, there's a lot of people here. We're all like we're all vaccinated, so we're all just hanging out, chilling. Uh, yeah, what, what is people. this event you're at? Oh, uh, it's just a little hangout. I don't know. Little hangout. Some friends of mine uh, rented this this Airbnb house. It's massive. Like literally thirty people are staying here. Dang. At this house, Sick. it's, it's awesome. got this incredibly nice view of this lake out behind me in the mountains. Wow! I'm really bummed I didn't bring my drones. I was told that uh, that was specifically uh, banned here. Oh no! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I'm regretting not doing it. Anymore. Yeah, you kind of you probably could have brought them and just been like, "Hey, it's all good." Especially that little small one I have. It's so quiet. All right, so guys, we've I just want to jump on the one wheel. We've made it uh, to the top seventy-five, um, and it is time. Down the top. You gotta get rid of thirty-one. So gotta... Thirty-one entries have to go. Yeah. All right. Yep. We got to do it. Okay, so hang on your butts. Top 50. Yeah, your nay. Yeah. I'm going to be strict this time around. If we end up with less than 50, great. Agreed. Nay on this one. I on like this, this one. It's super cute, but I'm going to say nay. It doesn't speak to me hard enough. Agreed. Now I'll say nay. Same. Sorry, Ian. We, we love you, Ian. Right, not love the style. Also, Drox, thank you for your submission. It's amazing. Uh, man, I'm gonna say yes on this one. I love the sunset. I love the it's sunset. Yeah. yeah, top fifty for sure. I'll put that up. Oh, I gotta render these. Hold on one second. Um, let's see. Let me render all these guys. Where are you at? Bam! There we go. Yeah. Next one, <clears throat> not Andrew Price, Andrew Pross. Um, it might be a little laggy, guys, for this first part. I'm, I'm like batch rendering some stuff, so hang in there. I love it, but I, I can pass. I, I, if it had some more lights on those foreground elements, just like a little bit of like more detail showing them off. It's, it's like a dark silhouette against a dark background that is occasionally lit up. Yeah. I want, like, for this to work for me, I want to see way more of the lightning going on. Like, make it, like, the middle of the most intense lightning storm as opposed to, like, a couple flashes and that's it. Also, so on that me. little cable the guy's holding, it looks like it's sparking. If you used that as a light source, it would have worked really well to illuminate the subject. Because right now it's kind of just falling into darkness a little bit. Or even, yeah, like, it's, uh, it's not a good use like of silhouette. This, I want to see this movie. Like, if this were, like, a short film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I'd want to see that so bad. It's like oil. They're they're oil rigs. They're floating oil rigs. That's so cool. Well, um, I feel like some ground lighting could have been nice. Like you could have had um, some like underlit ground lights by the feet that kind of go up to the guy. You know, that could have been cool to like make him pop cool out concept. just a little bit. But yeah, I'm down to pass. Concept, but I feel like you could use better art direction. Yeah. And I love how vibrant this one is. I love that little sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? The sun's awesome. I love that backpack design. Yeah, the vortex in the back is cool, too. Yeah. I, I bring this up the, personally. I don't vibe too much with the, the color scheme and the lighting. The design is... The color's good. a little it's weird. Amazing, but it's a pass for me. I, I almost feel like the blue is doing a disservice, like the, the blue orb, the sun. I agree. It's like I it's a like three tone right now, and if they picked two tones, I think it would have worked better. What do you guys think? I mean, I I don't know. I think it's top fifty for me, but I I'm not. I don't feel too strongly about it. I mean, a, a light I, I, yes. I bring it up. A light yes. Light yes. A, a light no for me. Okay. This one, I'm gonna say no. Uh, it just looks like. <clears throat> I mean, the background is cool, and I love the the particle system going on for the fireworks. But I feel like that's kind of the only thing going on for the background. It feels like it's just a photo, you know, in the background. I love that the spherical element is the fireworks. That's that pretty is weird. true. That is true. But, but yeah, I, I I pass too. I'll pass. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. Bourbon shoutouts, good times. Caleb, all right, we got some Caleb up in here. Mm. It's gonna I'll be for this one. it's gonna be a little laggy, guys. Clean style. at first, but it'll, it'll be we'll be good. Like, it's got a clean style and a really cool creative use of a like a portal type deal. The colors and every step is interacting with the water. I love it. Top fifty for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carlos, I like this one. I wish it was a little brighter, but I do. I feel like the the grade on this is is very nice and the stuff going on. I just wish I could see more of it. It's like too dark. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit hard to read. Yeah, a little dark, but I love it so much. Um, I, I say this one's top fifty for me, but might maybe just top fifty. You know, I always love subtle use of vol volumetrics because the temptation when you throw a volumetric object into your scene is to just crank it, mm -hmm. which looks nice. But I feel like oftentimes when you leave it subtle, it's it, it feels more realistic and it's, it pays off. I think this one should go up. I like it. <clears throat> I like let's, it. Let's bring it up. Nimbo. Dario, <clears throat> I, I, I could, okay, it's sick, but I could pass <laughs> for top 50. I could pass. I, I it's could dependent pass on a franchise that I haven't, that I'm not familiar with. Yeah, it's like they absolutely nailed the style and the, and the vibe. But again, because it's, it, the reference is too hard, it, it's, I don't know. Yeah. Or rather the reference is too its own, explicit. It's a Remo it's ball thing. I love this one. Yeah, this I, just feels like I good, like this one a lot fantasy. too. <laughs> the clouds that are parting as the the <laughs> guy turns into a world. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh yeah. This is. I was wondering yeah. why the clouds moving that fast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love the little bits of foreground like mist too. Yeah. This is this is a this is a win for me. I'll 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 go for this one. Yeah. yeah. As much as I love Spider-Man, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Go get him, Spider-Man. Yeah, I'd, I'd pass. Pass for sure. Isn't this the scene from the movie, though, when he's, like, on the airplane and he's, like, trying to, like, climb along it? But I guess now he's also getting shocked and losing his soul out of sync or something. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to pass on it. Yeah. I think a wing would be cool. I love it. Back here, but... Shout-outs to Spider-Man. David. David, yeah. Good stuff. Awesome. Good stuff. I'm having some uh, some lights flickering a little bit up here. We've got some wind. So if I suddenly just disappear, uh, I love you all and <laughs> say nice things about me. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Power? What you're saying? It's, it's probably fine. It's just flickered a couple times. <laughs> but so far, it's probably fine. <laughs> 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 so this one? Dennis, yeah. Uh, I think I'll pass. I like it. I, I, I like it. It's solid, fan. but I, I can pass. <clears throat> There's another one that had a very similar colored style to it, you know? Your least favorite one? Uh, but Ren? Your least favorite out of all the renders? No, no, no. Not that one. Not that one. The other one. The final one. There, there's a few with this color style. Yeah. But I don't know. This one? 
<laughs> it's very pretty, but it it's uh, feels a bit samey. Yeah, like you, you did everything you could do with this. I think it's sick. <clears throat> well, here's my complaint wind about is it. You know, again, it's the it's the unmotivated character walking. Like I, I feel like I get what they're going with here. He's walking into the wind, but I don't see any intensity of the wind pushing mm -hmm. him back. He's just kind of like. Yeah, and it needs the like misty. You need to see the wind. You need to visualize the wind somehow, and like you're doing it with like the, the, the little tumbleweeds. Tumbleweed. Yeah, I mean, and the well, well, everything is moving, but, I feel like but I could push it further. Like even the barbed wire fence is kind of shaking around, but yeah, just the the lack of I think particulate or whatever. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's moving up here. Yeah, I can pass on it. It's good, but I'll pass. I, I love it, but I, I can pass. Yeah, shout outs, Dennis, DD. Great lighting. I love this overcast lighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this one's really cool. Yeah, I agree. Top fitty. Oops. Oops. Mm. No question. This one I like a lot. Yeah, this is top 50. That he's, is the ground plane lower than the other ones because he's walking on the robot <laughs> feet? Oh. Yeah, definitely. So it's like the actual original ground plane oh. is invisible here. And the one, the ground plane we're seeing is is lowered a little bit to make room for the the robot. Interesting. Feet, right? Look at these undulating, like freaking tentacle grossnesses, dude. Look how nasty that is. I love this. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one goes up. That's a cool robot design too. Yeah, this one's definitely going up. <laughs> I like this one. It's it's creative, you know. It's like it's a, it's a little uh, paper two D cutout show type deal. <laughs> I love the audience turns around and looks at us. <laughs> yeah, still like, a lot. Uh, I could vote no. I, I could pass. Yeah, but I love it. I love that waterfall. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to change their vote, or are we sticking to it? Is it a straight tie? I'm gonna pass this one. I'm sticking to yes. Okay, it's sick. I love it. On it ends, Ennis. Good stuff. Very good stuff. This one just it feels so good. Like it feels like a, a freaking Monday morning. You're heading out to work the fields, except you got elephants instead of cows. <laughs> also, that elephant trunky animation. I wonder if that's just footage. No, that's that looks no, like a trading no. model. That's just an exceptional trunk animation. Yeah, <laughs> I guess the up for me. I this one's got the up for me for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just like and it's got the leaves the in the right spots. Yeah. Ooh, Ren, your favorite. Yeah, this Love is this. this is a favorite of mine. I like it a lot. The reveal. I wish there was more detail environmentally, but the story is yeah. so good. Yeah. I don't want to go in the ocean. The reveal. Anymore. It's all about that reveal. This this gets the ups for me on on the story reveal. There's yeah. so few that change over the course of the few seconds. Yep. Yeah. It evolves. What do we think? I, uh, I'm saying yes I, on it. Yeah, I, yeah. Bring, I bring it up. Cool, cool. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. I think it's top 50. Yeah, let's, let's bring it up. Yeah. I agree. Good stuff. I wonder if people can tell. Since we know the top five, I wonder if people can tell based on how we like select if we know if they know. You know what I mean? Um, this one is incredible. I love it. I love the fact that he like his little breather tube goes loose and he grabs it and tucks it back in. I love the lighting. Oh, really? Yeah, I love oh, everything What's about that? this. Okay, well that that little tube detail, I was kind of on the fence, but yeah, I wanna. I like that. Well, I mean, he's just he's just like. It doesn't like break loose and he recaptures. He's just like kind of like re up and like, I don't know. For me personally, I think this one's a little too simplistic in in what I'm looking at. I don't know. Composition's really nice. Composition's sick. I like it a lot. Also, it's one of the only ones where uh, he's not fighting against the wind. The wind is pushing him down. Yeah. That's true. Huh. I'm down to up it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Mm. Such good lighting. I love the environment work in the background. All those trees and, and whatnot. 
And I love all the little plants in the foreground too. Mm -hmm. We say safely I don't say. Quite get what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what the laser beam is going. I don't think the laser beam's doing anything. This little robot going out this way. Yeah, it just seems arbitrary to me. I think he's scanning like mines. It would have been nice though the power if it, station. like if it had uh, more of like a cone style laser that went over this foreground one and it flashed mm -hmm. like beep 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 then it's like oh he's scanning it but it's just like a laser beam off into the distance. I saw it as like that's like a little sentry robot and he the other guy has to like deliver the, the power station part yeah. somewhere. So cool. Oh, this one gets the up. I think right. it's great. Yeah I love the character animation in this. You guys think, Ian? Oh yeah, I'd, I'd bring it up. Cool. Yeah. Do you guys know what this is referencing? Like, is there a certain story? I don't. I'm not exactly sure. I get a lot of like ancient Greek vibes from it with their gods, like Zeus and stuff like that. But I'm also, I mean, it looks like the Eye of Sauron there off to the right, and the. I really. I really love the, the rendering quality of the water, like the subsurface yeah. going on. Yeah, it looks nice. Like, there's so much I, lo I love about this, but part of me is just like, I'm good on it, you know? I don't know, I love the concept of like this dude pulling a boat walking on water. Like, it just yeah. seems like, what's going on? And I do love the, the contrast between the red and the blue. People are and saying the, the word Dante. Dude at the end. Dante? People are saying what? Dante's Inferno? I think so. Something like that, yeah. Oh. Right, you guys, you guys go in top fifty on this one. I say it's a top fifty for me. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I dig this one. It's got a really chill vibe to it, but it's too stationary in terms of uh, idea. You know, it's just like nothing changes. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd pass. I'll pass on it. Love those slow burns. I love, I love this render so much. But I see you guys. I'm down. We can move on. Um, Ifrom, Ifron, er, Irfan. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. Ir, Irfan, Irfan, sick render, dude. Irfan. Yeah, sick render. I love your silhouette, man. Good stuff. Ivan with the chungus render, the 4K. Beefy. <laughs> I freaking love this. I love Dark Souls. Um, I think the render quality is top notch. Um, I love the f like all the low lying fog in the background. Um, I dig this one. Uh, I, dig I just too. can't read the the character. Same. Yeah. Like, I, does he have a head? Game. It would have been nice if there was another light source off to the light, uh, off to the left that was just like adding a bit of a rim light to the character so that they stood out from the dark background just a little bit more. That's like my biggest critique. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I agree. But I love that effect in the background. Yeah, me too. That's one of my favorite parts. Epic. I, I'm down if you guys want to pass on this. I hear you. I'm down if you. I would put it up. Yeah, let's. let's All right, yeah. Let's put Perfect. this one up. Let's... And the next one. Uh, this is when we chop it back down. <laughs> got a similar vibe. <laughs> this one I could pass on. I don't know. Even though technically, like, I feel like the lighting is better in this one. It reads better. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I feel like the depth is a little too far. Like, I feel like the background is way too far away. Um, I don't know. I, I love yeah, I, Parallax, and I'm not seeing enough of it here. I dig that kind of mystic Stonehenge thing in the back. Yeah. Oh, this is on the left. But yeah, I mean, I, I could, I could pass. Oh, this in I the mid. I, I see. I love this one. Lighting's great. Colors are. I freaking love it. If you guys are passing, I'm down. Color grade. Yeah, I, I, I love it. Shout outs to James. Good stuff, man. Congrats on top hundred. I dig this one a lot, just because it's so different. We're now at a miniature scale. There's not many that are at a miniature scale. True. And just that so looks like shaving cream. Yeah, no, they nailed the shaving cream. Look. Yeah, it's insane. Both in terms of like its viscosity and the render. How do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, who who was like the circle <laughs> element will be a bottom of a toilet. <laughs> toilet bowl. Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> this one. I say this one's definitely top fifty for me. Oh yeah, I do wish there was some animation in the toes. 
Yeah, that would have elevated Dude, if this. they would have just clenched, like, super hard. <laughs> 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 yeah, this, this goes up. I like originality. It's fun. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. Ah, whew, Jason, this mm-hmm. one, dude. This one's got a story going on, for sure, you know. Top, Great top 50, I, I think so. Man, this one, I feel something yeah. with this. Yeah. All right, Jason, we'll see you soon. Jer, uh, Javert? Javert. This one's okay. dope. To me, it does feel like a ton of assets scattered around a scene. I could pass on this one. Yeah, I'd, I'd pass on this one. I like it. Yeah, of course. I like all I the feel like the elements. bokeh is really nice. I like the use of the explosion as the circular element. Uh, there's like a bit of a, a shock wave coming towards oh, the yeah. foreground there with smoke. Uh, it's definitely a, a post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland going on, but I, I pass it. on it. Yeah, it's sick. Javert, sick, man. Thanks for joining. Thanks for making top 100. This one I dig a lot. This one is the only stop motion one that I've seen that really celebrates the art. You know? Yeah. But you're sitting there. Yeah. My only complaint yeah, about it is that like it's just it doesn't it doesn't read too clearly that the foreground element is a person. Uh, I disagree. This is sick. Like, this is like back, top fifty. Like to me, like if you see a time lapse. Mm-hmm. No, What's absolutely. Like, background. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? <sighs> I've always wondered what that thing is. Is it like a light reflector, and it's just kind of moving over? Oh, you know what it might be? It might be a uh, one of those umbrellas with the light pointing inside the umbrella. That's kind okay. of what it looks like, like a like a foil bounce light situation. Yeah. Yeah, a I can see that. A little of the construction paper trees. Yeah. Also, notice how the cup, the mug there, like, moves <laughs> yeah. over the course of one frame a couple times. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is top 50. This goes up. Yeah. We got Jerome next. I love this render so much. You could eat that mud. I could just have Thanksgiving dinner right there on that rock. Plus those floating dudes just, like, ominously floating up there. I'll fight you guys if this isn't in the top 50. Like, this is... No, this is top 50. Oh, no, this is top 50. Amazing. The detail, the, uh, the tone. Yeah. The use of color. It's like, the color is, is perfect here because it's muted, but it's also still saturated enough. Yeah, in, in, you know? in relation to itself, it's perfect. Yeah, it's tactical yeah. color. Mm-hmm. It plays in gray, which is nice, because when you're in gray, you can shift to different colors in a really smooth way. Yeah, I love it. The eyeball. I've seen enough. Did you see the sign? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I've seen enough. I love that goo. This one's pretty wild. It doesn't have to be goo. <laughs> but it is, it's almost, yeah, it's like, it's a little too on the abstract side, in my opinion. It's like... Off guard. I could pass on it. Like, it's, it's sick, and I love it. Obviously, it made top 100, but I could pass. I, I really like how the body of the, the person is literally just the guts of an eyeball. Like, <laughs> like the optic like, nerve ripped out. Yeah, exactly. It's a great simulation. Yeah, agreed. I think it's nasty. What do y'all think? <laughs> I think it's dope, but I, th- I, I think I'm going to pass on this round. Okay. I'd, I'd pass. We're bringing up. Are we in an eye socket? Wait, yeah. what happened? Oh, are you in an eye socket? Oh, it's the, the shape, the kind of the window into the background. I was wondering if that was like an eye socket. But it could like just be... Like an anime eye? A flesh window. Gross. This one I could pass on. I don't know. It doesn't really speak to me that hard. I like this one. Yeah, I love the, the color. I, I feel like they could have leaned further into the operation element of it. And again, it's, it goes for me. It goes back to the. I feel like there's too much separation between the background and the foreground. I want to see that married a little bit more. I wonder if they like actually maybe if made... the operation going on on the left back there was a little bit closer to camera, so you had a little bit more parallax. Or if like yeah. obviously, okay. So the way I take it is, this soldier took the the battery from this robot, and the robot should have been like, oh, whoa, it moves. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I wonder if they made the Katamari, uh, like. Graphic oh, on the yeah. TV. 
Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's great. a really cool style. Well, I'm just confused yeah. now because I thought the ro- I thought he took the battery from the robot, so the robot would be powered down. And I was thinking if the robot's powered down, then you wouldn't have soldiers around it looking all, all suspicious. You'd have other mini robots looking like like they took oh, they yeah. took our uh, ro- like the I think it's just a battery. Those those old tin robots are wind up. He he doesn't know what a battery is. Oh my god, dude, that death mm-hmm. stare at the end where it's just like <laughs> so terrifying. <laughs> Um, this the render quality is amazing. I don't know what do you guys think. This is the only this is the only entry with a lava lamp. <laughs> <laughs> True. Does it get does it get ups I from you, Ian? Uh, I, I I pass. I love it, but I I could pass. I'll pass with y'all. This one gets ups from me, but I I'm getting voted out. <sighs> I I. Which is fine. Which is fine. That's how this works. Well, I, I love this one too. This one's I'm torn, but for the sake of moving forward, let's bring it, let's bring it up. Well, okay, John, congratulations, Jonah, with the Beatles. This one's so the good. Beetleborgs, or the rats. I thought they were Beatles, <laughs> but I think they're rats. They're rats. They're they're rats. I love it. I feel like this would have been. I I, I don't know. This one would have been creepier had they all been like just giant beetles like moving out of the way. Well, it's the plague. It's it's it's, beetles instead of rats. it's the plague. You know, it is the plague. Fair enough. For me, it's He's the background the element. Mask on. Like the background element is just like too slow. It's not like it would have been so good if it was like the moon. Like, but the moon's over here. It's like you just. I feel like you, they just didn't need this big old rat wheel. They needed like it's too arbitrary. That's my favorite part. Wheel. Yeah. It's like the the rat controls the wheel of destiny or something, but uh, I'd still I, I could still pass. I love it though. I'll pass. I'll pass. I love it. This one gets up to me, but oh, he's leaving the town. I think he's dragging the bodies out from the town. Yeah, into the domain of the rat lord. <laughs> oh man. Well, isn't that the job of the people who would wear those masks back in the plague? Yeah. I'll still pass. I don't know. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I I, I could pass. Ren? I'm pass. Fair enough. Jonah, shout outs. This person's name is also Jonah. I was about to say. This is a 4K render, so it'll be a little laggy for y'all, but um, I, for me, this one is like 100% on the render quality. And the yeah. atmosphere and like everything. Yes. Atmospherically, very good. Uh, yeah, render quality. All like the little for- the foreground elements are literally uh, smoke, so it's like it doesn't obscure anything, but it still gives you a sense of motion. Um, the the raindrops only refracting like immediately around the lights to me make it look like it's actually like rain running down a piece of glass or something that's a little weird. But like those little muddy footsteps are the best thing I've ever seen, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna up this, this is amazing. Um, this one is sick, but I could pass on it for top 50. I'll pass on it. I agree. Game over, game over. Jordan, yeah. shout outs, I love the render. Pretty sweet. Though. I'm glad it made top 100. Very sweet. Good, good style, um, and a good contrast from all the other styles, so thank you. And the Jordan. Oh, I just realized you have all these names alphabetically sorted. Mm-hmm. Oh. I was like, this is the second time there's another name that's the same. <laughs> uh, Top 50? I mean, listen, this one's great. I love this one a lot, but I, it'd be hypocritical of me to approve this one when I didn't approve of all the other ones that were also like referential, you know? I agree. I'm down to pass on this one. I, I, can, I, pass on. I can pass. Yeah. Shout outs, Jordan. <laughs> Good stuff, man. I like that little like weird energy uh, shockwave that happens on this one. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. Yeah, cool blast. So like I was looking at this, right? And this thing, whatever this person is pulling, is scooping up, it's scooping up this energy milk stuff, and it's going up through this tube, and you can see it going. Oh, yeah. Super cool. Whoa. And I guess, and it's giving him some. And yeah, he well, he's spilling it because that wire broke. Uh, so it is giving him some, 
And then this, I guess, is just the giant energy ball um, that makes the world go round, I guess. Um, God, See, my is... problem is I'm not seeing any sort of connection between the foreground story and the background story. You know, it's like all those little like chain linked robot arm things, Doc Ock in the background, like. That's all sweet, but I don't see any correlation between that and what this is doing. Yeah, it needs right. this this is little this arm. To be like a... It needs to like interact with this in some way to tell the story of how these connect. Yeah, yeah. So just because of that, I'm gonna pass. It's uh, is this like, like protein assembly story. or something? Maybe yeah, protein harvest thing. Cause like it's really cool. It's a really cool idea. Um, I feel like I just could have had a little bit more connection to it. So I'll, I'll pass on this one. Um, I could pass. Yeah, this one's friggin' awesome, but I'm gonna pass. Joseph, shout outs, really sick stuff. Again, this one's a really clever, really uh, interesting idea. But I think it's too simple. You know, it's like, I don't, f I don't feel like there's enough going for it. Plus, I don't know what the story is. I mean, I don't think there is a story. It's just kind of trippy. So the thing that throws me is this Mixamo model. Oh. Is that a Mixamo model? Yeah. Really? It's like freaking like Jay from Grand Theft Auto Russia or something. like. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sweet. And I like the idea. And it, but it, and it fits the scene really good. It does. Oh, yeah. Good. It's really good. Um, I I say final fifty personally. I do too. The pass from me, but I'm gonna pass. Okay, I'll move it up to that third tier, the uh, the middle round. Like I'll put on the fighting gloves tier, and then we'll come back based off of how much we have. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, this one's definitely uh. I showed this one to a few uh, guys at the studio, and uh, everyone had the same reaction to this one. It's just like, whoa! Yeah, this one gets an up for me. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, this one's great. Bam. It's like there's so much going on, but in the right way, you know? It's like... Well, the, the, the sim that they have going on is ridiculous. It's just the, the spherical element is definitely missing for me on this one, but this blows my mind. Uh, I'd say top 50. It's is there for me though? I, I totally see it, and I, I see the intent behind it. It's like it's there, but it's it's, it's pushing the boundaries. I, I yeah, the, the flashlight spotlight. I to me that totally that totally counts. Same. But yeah, I mean it moves up. We could talk about it more later. Sounds good. Oh, hey. We we skip. Yeah. This green screen one is a favorite of mine. There's so much going on here that I love. It also just looks real, you know? Yeah. I love it so yeah, much. It's a cool style. I love it so much. This gets the up for sure. Of, of the pants on the green screen dudes? Yeah, the saggy crotch. Yeah. Hmm. Good stuff. Hmm. Amazing. No doubt about it. I love it. Yeah. One's an Ansel Adams picture, in my opinion. I love it. So good. Yeah. And there's like corpses in the snow? Yeah. Skeletons or something like really intense. And that's like a big boat. I, I love this whole frost look. Sweet. Top 50. What do we think? I love this one. This one, I feel like the color is just too all over the place. It's too, uh, it, I feel like the color isn't focused enough, you know? That's what I like about it. I love it, yeah. I love yeah. the color. There's a, there's a lot going on. I Compositionally, it's just like everything is everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. At the same you. time, it's like it's very overwhelming, yet there is a circular composition to everything. everything. Like the way the... That's that, true. Uh, asteroid belt in the distance kind of scoops up into the mountains and yeah. the mushrooms yeah yeah that's true i'll 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 say yes on this one so yes for me let's bring it up all right also i hate jupiter 
No, I like them blowing it up. I didn't. Oh, oh, so that, that, that was the, I see, I see. This one's super dope. The only thing that bothers me about this is the Kitbash 3D buildings. Mm. Not that there's anything wrong with using Kitbash elements. I just, I don't know why I don't like those assets. And also, that do those assets come with the trees on them already? No, like no. the growth. No. So he added that. Growth looks yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I, I like I like that. I could go either way on this one for top fifty. Like, the, like I want to hang the, out there. Like, yeah, I'd say yes. The, also, look at the water center on his feet, man. That's that's so well done. You're that's right. Great. Okay, it gets the up. Yeah, that's sick. God dang. Ups. Hundred percent. This speaks a lot. Like this one says Dude, a lot. We'll talk about this it has story. This has. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Ah! <laughs> it has everything. Burger man. I like this one a lot just because it feels so vibrant. Like it feels like an HDR video. You know, it's like I love how bright it feels while also how like I don't know. I feel like the grade on it is just yeah. Really I, like I love it. it. I'm down for top fifty. I could pass on this one. I could pass on this one just because I don't get it. And it, 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 it's got, it feels too arbitrary. You know, like the images being displayed on that circular screen, uh, the giant Apple Watch, like it, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a... It's a nature simulator because he's in the machine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you need your 20 minutes of nature and also run this factory while you can. <laughs> yeah. And it crashes at the end of it. Like, Oop. Oh, that gets a yes. I'm down to pass on this. All right, those are fighting. It's on fighting tier. Yeah, it's in the fighting tier. This is a hundred percent. It it's very. It's so painterly, dude. It's like it looks like it's straight out of uh, League of Legends or some I don't know some like uh, who makes those games? Yeah, I want to know how they did this. Like it looks like there's like, like a rib cage or like a spine in the architecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks like, like you painted go, it and then projected it. Like you can go in there. Oh, it's a great look. So gross. This it's, it's, is a hundred percent for me. Yeah, I, it's a yes. <laughs> I like this one a lot because I'm a sucker for rigid body dynamics. Yeah. Especially like big Lego, like it's so satisfying to be able to just like break a Lego structure. Yeah. And have like a giant. Although I, I now that I'm looking at it, I am kind of confused by the story here because it's like the the background breaking and all that stuff is cool, but like who's this person in the foreground? They're fighting. No, they're fighting the kid. It's the well, there's some army of toys versus this kid, this little baby. The only yeah, thing but that that person there is is that a is that a toy? The person walking carrying the other y yeah, toy, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Barbie. It's Ken. Know, is that a Barbie? It's like the uh, the like plastic oh, hair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Dude, the only thing that bothers me about this one is that the keyframe for the hand animation starts at the first frame of the video. Oh. oh in the Bezier. Frame. Yeah. Ramps up. It still gets top fifty for me, but I feel you. I love it's a. Giant baby's head as the circular element. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty it's enormous great. Enormous baby head. I dig it. I'd say it's top fifty for me. Let's go, son. Let's I go. go. It's an interesting take. I'll pass. I'll pass on it. I I love this one, just like vibe wise and lighting and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I could I could pass. I feel the same. It's way. good. It's just a little plain. Love all those plants. Yeah. I, I feel like the, the glow is just right. There's just enough glow. There's just enough cutoff. Um, but, I, yeah, it's there's no evolution to it, really. I mean, there's, like, the dude in the background there, I guess, at the very end of it, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's it's great. Uh, obviously made top 100, but Luigi, shout-outs, man. Good stuff. 100 mm. million <laughs> percent. <laughs> This is like, yeah. So, this has got to go up. I love this one a lot. The detail work is very good. The the cloth simulation work is really good. The implication that he's trying to reach that other 
ribbon for whatever reason. Um, my biggest complaints are I have no idea what that that circular element is. It just looks like smoke. Agreed. Uh, smoke Agreed. ring. It. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a little arbitrary. Yeah, it looks like the thing from Arrival. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is. Uh, and other than that, for me, it's the fact that the the gradient and the color, like literally the the hue is exactly the same as like one of the most iconic shots from Blade Runner 2049. This like literally is that exact same gradient. Yeah, but is that just what it looks like inside a sandstorm? Here I'm going to Google. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a that can't be limited to just Blade Runner like the that's thick That's just orange. straight up what it looks like inside a sandstorm. This is so sick to me. This is like 100%, 100 million percent. Uh, what do you guys think? I say yes. I like oh, it. Yeah. This is absolutely tough. All right. Easy. Heck yeah. Gorgeous. Love it. Yep. Top Viddy? Yep. For me at least. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, yeah. I, I my only complaint is I feel like it's lacking texture detail, you know? Great like, silhouette. Compositionally and geometry wise, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, but uh I don't know, I feel like I'd like to see a little bit more detail on the ground and the other there's like not much bump, you know? Ian, what do you think on this one? I, I think it captures the feeling of industrial, like, better than anything I've ever seen. But, yeah, but at the same time, I feel like that's mostly all it's doing for okay. me. Um, I'd say it's top 50. I agree. Yeah, this one captures the, like, old uh, propaganda workforce vibes mm. for me. I love the little elevator on that uh, background building. El oh, wow, that's cool. Yes. That's sick. All right, final final thoughts. Yes, yay or nay? I, I yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is the spherical element like a snow globe in the background? Yeah. Like, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at there. Like a city. F future snow globe. I like this is great, but I honestly I could pass on it. I love it. There's I love all the little bits. Yeah, it's I, I, don't know. I, could, I could pass. There's but a lot going on. It just doesn't speak to me. Detail. Okay, Martin, shoutouts. Good stuff, man. Great work. Ren, we're getting a little bit of wind on your end. Oh, I mean, yeah. Sorry. It's, it's cool. I'll tell you on that. You can just turn your mic on when you're talking. Or put your... Is it, is yeah, it, yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's, it's you can bad. put your hood up, maybe, if you have put your hood on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got windy all of a sudden. It's still coming in. I, I, I like this one, but I could, I could pass. Just the background, all the different layers don't totally gel for me. It's a bit overstimulating, I agree. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of this one to be honest. It's really cool, but at the same time I, I love that weird lemon I'm not ad. A fan of the color. Yeah, the color is very weird for me. Um I'll I'll pass. I can pass on this one. Yeah, there's just a lot of like sci-fi city, you know. Only a few sci-fi city renders can make it. And uh I think I'll pass on this one. I like the reveal of the plant though when that blanket blows away. I I agree. Is that a, okay? Yeah, I agree. But no, but, yeah, I, I would yeah. I pass too. Okay. There's a there's definitely a superior plant reveal here. Mateus, shout outs, man. Sick render, congrats on top hundred. Mm, I love this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's freaking stuff. amazing. Um it's I can't believe wait, this is like wait, you said this is entirely Sorry. In? 100 percent Unreal Engine. Wild. Dang, man, that's so well done. Caves, yeah. man, he's the master. I'll, I'll up this for sure. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a good one. Cool. This one's also pretty sweet. I love, I love the, the, the fluid sim coming out of the, the, the jar. He's breaking free. It's telling a story. You know, it's like, and he actually has some intent there. It's not just like they're breaking away. He actually specifically grabs the one in his head and breaks it off. The cable snapping physics are, are really rad. Yeah. 
Yeah, I dig it. I'd say this is a would have loved some more environment work here. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's a little it's like arbitrary where the things are placed. Yeah, and like the ground just feels like it's lacking the ground element and like this screen. I can't tell if that's like a window. It looks like a window, um, but there's no bevel. Yeah. Like there's no thick bevel to it. It's just like a 2D plane, I guess. I don't know. I This one's sick, but I'll pass on top 50. Yeah, I agree. Mm, I don't know. It's a yes for me. I think it's top 50 for me. Ian? Uh, I'd, I'd pass. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Ma. M A U. I love. I like this one a lot. I love the detail on the rocks. Like. Yeah. Everything and, looks and, wet. Uh, that 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 splash. That that wave. Yeah, I dig this one. This is top fifty for me. Mhm. Mm cool. Oh yeah. Sweet. I'm a sucker for miniatures. <laughs> Also, those string lights, they just, they read so well when they're slightly out of focus like that. It feel, the whole thing feels very cozy. It does. Um, for me, though, like, story-wise, I guess he's bringing a bunch of pencils to be sharpened, and then what are they doing with those pencils? They're in a war. They're sharpening them down their uh, pencil sharpening uh, world record speed competition. <laughs> Nothing says war to me, though. Also, notice how he knocks no. the truck off the table with that little... He kicks that little ruler, and it knocks the oh. truck off. He's a born killer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was funnier than... <laughs> it's, very, it's very photographic to me, you know? Like, it looks like the, the depth of field is very... Yeah, it's, it's very cinematic. This lens flare is killing me, though, dude. This, like, After Effects CC lens <laughs> flare is like, ah, uh, man. Oh, I see that now, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm not totally particularly torn on attached this one. to it. I just think it's very pleasing. It is very pleasing. But for the sake of moving on, I'm down to the pass on this one. Yeah, I could pass. Mozart, right, Motaz. Shout outs, Motaz. Mozart. Good stuff. <laughs> Again, this one's super cool. There's a lot of like really cool contrast going on. I love the Titan in the distance, just kind of like looking uh, back and noticing him. I think this one's just like a little blurry, yeah. a little like not as high res, not as uh, I don't know, not as crispy as I would like it to be. The clouds, clouds are very soft and like I don't know. This is right on the, the edge. Lightning's a little weird. I guess I feel that. Oh, I dig it. I, and I love the reveal of the Titan there and the eyes. It feels so menacing. Yeah. It does. The mocap on the Titan is just ridiculous. I love it. So there's yes. something about being, it makes me feel small, you know, because it's like there's something about being noticed by something so huge mm -hmm. that I, I feel is uh, like it, it, it triggers my animal instinct a little bit. Uh, what do you guys think? Yay or nay? Yes. Uh, Yay. Yay. Yeah, I'll put it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say 100%. This is like Peter's favorite because he loves otters. <laughs> it's not because I love otters. I just love how like hard they went on this concept. <laughs> how it's like such a weird random concept, but they really followed through and took it to like... <laughs> oh my it's god, is that it's amazing. Fox in the background putting his guts back in? <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's going up that. for me. Yeah, th this one's a this one's a favorite. Jeez, Fox dude. is putting his guts back in. Jeez. He's like howling in pain. Th that's amazing. This goes up. These authors don't care. This one blows me away. Yeah, it's a good one. Also, just the like the character modeling and animation is crazy. Yeah, I'm down. And this little hedgehog just coming in hot, just like. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm realizing it, every single one of those animals is different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a weasel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little like a ferret, maybe. That's a good one. Great material work, too. Damn. Yeah. Sticks sticking out of the mud. Mm hmm. I love this one. I just wish I knew what was going on. Mm hmm. 
This this is a classic one that I feel almost works. It, okay, no, I figured it out. This one, the reason why I don't think this one should continue is because this works about the same. It, this works just as well as a still image as it does the actual video. Mm. Interesting. Totally. You know, it's like nothing really changes that. over the course of the shot. There's not really uh and it's so striking from a single image standpoint. Like I could pick any frame from this and it's like, that's a sweet desktop background. But in context as a video, I don't think it works. I'll agree. pass on it. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I could pass. Amazing. Uh, I, go ahead, Ian. Oh yeah, I, I I could pass. I'm just really digging all the little stuff on the cart. Me too. And the person being drugged in the back, it's almost like their soul, like they died and their soul yeah. was like, I got you. Oh. Mm. Super cool yeah, concept. Yeah. World. yeah. And I love how the light source is the soul, you know, like. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm a pass. I'll pass. Y'all gonna pass, Ian, Peter? Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll pass. Okay. See, this one finally works for having the pose work for wind. You know, like there's been several where the pose was justified for like the wind, you know, like, oh, he's just mm -hmm. trying to fight into the wind, but I've never felt that intensity until this shot. Yeah. This is a it feels really justified. Hundred percent for me. Even though I feel like the fire is completely separate from the wind, you know, the fire is, uh... True. <laughs> I like that he's holding the child in front of him to kind of protect himself from anything that might fly <laughs> <in his head. laughs> Yeah, this is a very dangerous situation you do. Baby bumper? <laughs> <laughs> this is up for me. I think we can move on. It's freaking great. I love it. Yeah. I love the idea. I love I love the the concept here. I just feel like the execution of the concept isn't top fifty. I could pass on it. I love it, I but I'm, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, this I, one's I'm tough. I'm torn. I I could pass. I really love the vibe, but it's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, that is very true. Something that always, this is just a personal gripe of mine. It always bugs me when there's a 12 frames per second element moving at 24 frames per second. You know what I mean? No, you mean like, so, so every, let's see. So like it's something oh, in 24 yeah. or 12 frames per second moving across the screen at 24. Yeah. So you hear how. Yeah, the, the environment is on ones, but the characters are on twos. Exactly. So you get a little sliding. Yeah, hey, which is just like a Red Bull. The animated Spider-Man movie did that a ton. Um, yeah, but they did it very selectively, you know. Right. Yeah, it's interesting. This one's great, but I think uh, it's time to put it to bed. I'm down. Yeah. I... Yeah. So right now we have a top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, do you know which ones well, are the tie? Let's just keep going. This one? Uh, I don't know. I like a lot about it. Uh, I, 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 like the, I like the composition for the orb or the, the spherical element. You yeah. know, it's uh, compositionally, it's pretty good, but again, it's just not speaking to me. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Same. I could probably pass on I it. I love that train. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna pay. <laughs> Bye, Peter. All right, I'll pass on this one, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do without Peter. If three of us like it, we'll move it up. Top fifty. What do you think? I I could pass. I could pass top fifty as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pass. 
it's listen i i this one's dope because it's able to use this giant emissive texture in the background to light the ground in the foreground and it yeah. really accentuates the 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 rain hitting the ground and the use of silhouettes it really feels like we're you know in the middle of a city on a rainy day like the this that taxi cab looks really good and the guy having to like pull all of his stuff while this big you know through the rain is this big reader board in the background is like hey it's it's sunny like that's that's yeah. cool <laughs> Plus the dichotomy of like the sun shines on everyone, but it's very obviously not a shiny day. It is funny, yeah. I can still pass on it though for top fifty. Yeah, I could pass. Are those guys taking a selfie? Oh yeah. Uh, Ren, what do you think? Uh, this is a weird one. It's like if I start breaking down the details of why I think it's good. I start realizing it's pretty dang good, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't love it. I'm going to pass. I don't love it. Okay. I'm sorry. Pedro, amazing. Love your vibe. Mm -hmm. This one's top 50 for me. This yeah, one's for me top too. 50. I like it a lot. There's so much going on here that I just Heck love. Yeah. This one is... This one, again, got like a little sci-fi marketplace going on. I like that there's a, there's a story here. It... I haven't really seen many that added an, ad an additional character in addition to the uh, the the mocap. Yeah, like that's and true. I dig mm -hmm. the world going on here. I think this is like ten out of ten for world building. It's not in your face. It's not over the top. It's pretty subtle. Yeah. Um, and it plus those little uh, those red those orange curves coming in to complete that that. Sphere yeah, the, the space oh, yeah. junker or like the yeah. I just think yeah, this one is like it your eyes aren't darting all over the place. It's a really clean like your first look is here at the astronaut and then you're looking here at the foreground. Like I do. Yeah. And it kind of I like that it feels like you can actually like jump in and like explore it a little bit. Like it feels like there is stuff kind of happening off to to either yeah. side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I dig it. The the freaking little gnats up in the like, light too. Oh, yeah. Both those foreground characters kind of like turning to look a little bit. Uh, that that robot ship in the back that's kind of like lifting off. Is that a ro? Is, is that a giant robot ladybug? It kind of looks like it. Kind of. Well, it goes up. I don't know. I, I dig this yeah. a lot. Absolutely. This is top fifty for me. This is always so startling when it shows up. It's just so lush. So he's chasing the like red butterfly. I just can't help but feel like that little tree element in the foreground is a disservice here. It's like, it, I feel like it blocks too much of the, the foreground stuff going on. I would agree. You can't see the force man for the trees. Like, I, I want to see more about what's going on with, like, the little weird, like, blue stuff attached at his feet. But I spend more than half the shot being occluded by the trees. That's my biggest gripe with it. But I don't know if that Thanks. takes away the fact that it's... One of the most beautiful renders of them all. I I want to I want to bring it up. Personally. I'll bring it up. Yeah. What do we do now? Top. This 45? is top fifty. No, we're still on top fifty. Hmm. Oop. I I like how clean this one is, and the composition's really really clean. But I I could pass on it. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. I could pass. I feel the same. Feels amazing, but. Rafael, Rafael, shout outs, man. Man, this one's cool. I love the technical uh, skills being shown here, you know, with the, the plants growing. Um, I just don't know what this background thing is. Like, I guess it's a rock, but there, I feel like there could have been more going on back here. Like, I, I don't know why I don't love love it like it seems like it should check every box for me but there's something yeah i can't put my finger on it i think i've grown a little tired of the um you know apocalypse last surviving plant thing there are there are mm -hmm. a lot of those for that me i said, think the, the I haze being the implied story of the robot Having both like the blue haze, but also the yellow haze to me are competing a little bit, which I think is like compositionally where 
it's not totally jelly. Okay, forming. like it's like a tie dye. Yeah. Okay. But, but I love that big robot hand so much. It's very uh, yeah. yeah. Hyperlight Drifter. Yeah. Um, I could go either way on this one. I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I could pass, but I feel bad. Me too. I, this, yeah, exactly. There's like more guilt for passing on this one than normal. I know, but that's the way it is. We gotta pass on on, every, on 95 of these. Well, like like Peter was saying, there's this dude carrying uh, this plant in the back, and it's like you know, I, I, there's one plant shot that I feel really nails it, and I think we're gonna see that here in a bit. And if I have to choose between the two, I'm gonna choose that one over this one. So I, I'm gonna pass on. That All right, one. Regin, shout outs, congrats. Because I saw that one on Twitter. Yeah. yeah right. This is one of my this favorite background elements ever. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I like that they're like they're taking all the water or something, but he also has those little sloshing bottles on his yeah. wagon. I love this. That's I'm pretty sure that's an Embergen simulation in the back there. They've got that vortex going on, uh, and so it's technically a smoke sim, but he's got got it matched to look like it's the water coming out. And notice how it, like I don't oh, know yeah. whether that's a shading thing happening in the render versus uh, like a post color correction type deal going from like the, the frothy white at the bottom to dark going into the orb. I've definitely got some Oblivion vibes from this. This isn't oh, yeah. up for me. I, I like it a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sweet. I like it, yeah. This one's this I love all the cool. style in this one. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass on this one. It's, I, love, I love the concept of the fantasy aspect, but I feel like it's a little too arbitrary. Yeah. The only thing that doesn't check out for me is the yeah agreed the <laughs> yeah and the in the leg not splashing the water It's beautiful but I could pass yeah yeah I could pass Sebastian sick work man good stuff mm. 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 I'll just put that up <laughs> why does this one work so well I don't even know it just does uh the color I think it's because the orbs. Offer a bit of a leading line down to the uh, the character. The cloth sim, dude. The, uh, the lighting. The wind. I feel like I can feel the wind that he's uh, running into just due to the cloth, like really just whipping out back behind him, like the Great cloth sim. Yeah, really it's good. the wind. It's the lighting. It's the uh, it's <laughs> the blotchy diffuse sunlight is yeah. so. Yeah, so the, like, you have a strip of sunlight hitting your character, but the foreground uh, is naturally vignetted by the cloud. Yeah, yeah, it's a natural Smart. vignette. Sick. Absolutely. It's like right Especially after with the, shadow, the shaded side of the sphere off in the distance. That's 100%. God, that's that goes up for sure. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so especially comparing the, them, these two back to back, this one feels like the camera's not even moving. It does, yeah. There's like not enough foreground detail to really tell me that there's motion going on. So it just kind of ends up looking noisy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Thing that but bothers that being said, noise. there's like some really cool atmospherics going on right over the top of the ground. Yeah. yeah. Your eye is drawn to the top of the frame, not the subject. That's true. Yeah. I could pass. Yeah, my favorite bits are that all the icicles and the smoke coming out of that burning one on the in the back left. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I, I could I could pass. This is like great environmental work, but I feel like it's not enough uh, of a good use of the prompt. Sandre, I love your vibe, man. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Ah <laughs> uh, mm. yes. Mm. This one's this one's a favorite of mine. I like it a lot. You know, something about having like the lone warrior hero leading the pack of all the other dudes. And, you know, it makes sense to have this pose. He, he's literally hunched over so that he doesn't get shot by an arrow. Yeah, the the justification perfect. is yeah. amazing. And the, the lighting, the render quality, this is 100% for me. Mm -hmm. Freaking sick. Oh, yeah. This is the one. This one sticks out in my memory a lot. This, this is the freaking one, dude. This has the best reveal, and I feel like it has the best color palette of all of the, the post-apocalyptic plant I agree. videos. Like, look, at the very beginning of it, we see, like, this skeleton sitting there, and then it's like a dead the tree. skeleton is life. Yeah, so... Like, there's a little electrical outlet in there, too. <laughs> it, it just, like... That's great. Wait, hold up. Is that skeleton... 
it's oh man there's okay that there's those two skeletons that are telling a story a person died first and it was a loved one and they're holding on to him but then he also died or she also oh, died oh no oh my god yeah they were eating all the peaches from their little uh, their fruit tree and they ran out of peaches <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the revealed plus i love that death window. to life something about that window like the way it's designed really makes it feel huge yeah. like that is With a the little walkway yeah yeah, yeah. I love those walkways. We'll come back to this one yeah, for sure. Gotta go up. Oh yes. Mm. Man, this one's like it's pretty well detailed, but it's just like it depresses me too much. I have pass on it. For, I love the spherical element. Yeah, it's it's good. It's like the escape. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but well, yeah, yeah, I'll pass right. on it for top fifty. Rough, man. Tommy, shoutouts, man. I'll pass on this one too for top fifty. I just, I don't know. I just don't yeah, vibe with the style on this one. I love the style. I actually really like, like the background with the clouds and the mountains and that, like the trees all kind of mixing together. I'll put it yeah. up. We'll put it up into the fighting, fighting deer. I don't know. I'm, I'm passing on it. We'll, we'll move it up to the, to the fighting deer. Also, my. My mic is gonna go out at some point, guys. Um, what? It's a because oh. it's a lapel, so I'm like, ah. it's gonna go off. So I'm gonna have to switch mics in a second. There's another one chilling here. So when that happens, I'm assuming F will blast through the chat. Top fifty. What do we think? Yeah, this one's cool. This one has like the use of uh, the moonlight as a rim light works really well. Yeah, I love the lighting on this one. Yeah. Cool, I'll move it up. Yes. Yeah, this I'd say yeah on this one. Oh, man. <laughs> man, this one's, this one's pretty dope. I wish, I mean, it's the, every time I see fire, I wish I saw smoke. You know, it's like... Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th for me, that's a quote. Every time I saw fire, I wish I saw smoke. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> This one's great. I just love the justification for the mocap data, but I think yeah. it, I'll have to pass on it for top 50. Oh, it's a yes for me. I just feel like I can hear the soundtrack to this. Just like a I feel like this one, I, I, I almost feel like it's kind of cliche to say, but like I wish the moon was big. Like the moon is just this tiny little element off in the distance, but I feel like this shot in particular, it would have felt more grand if the moon was like giant in the actual spherical element i see what he's kind of going for with the composition between the hill and the wings of the dragon but True. yeah it would have worked better if it was the actual moon could have gone big moon on it but like but like at a certain focal length the moon is going to be an actual size in the in this this is a personal thing just like mm -hmm. <laughs> i love the dragons like the subsurface the translucency in the in the cheeks mm -hmm. right, right before yeah. the fire comes out Oh, that's true. That's that's a really cool detail. Yeah. I, I do like this one a lot. I wouldn't be opposed to moving this up. This is a yes for me. Let's let's bring it. All up. right, it's up. It's up. Mm. I think this is the best nighttime sci-fi world, personally. I agree. And there's just everywhere you look, there's little things happening. Yeah, great lighting. And I love the implication that McDonald's is just going to be around forever. <laughs> Fly I feel like that crow would get out of the rain, though. Get mm. out of here, crow. Which one? This guy chilling? It's a storm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, birds don't fly in the rain. I think he's a spy. <laughs> he's a spy. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, that one's up. Good job, Willie. Johan is next. I love this one. I love, yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's three. You three. guys really love this one? Yeah, it's the color. I'm not a fan, to be honest. I hear you. We'll get back to it. Ren dislikes happiness and colors. It's just, I don't know. It's it's too all over the place. This one I like a lot. This one's a, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, this one's got some really cool detail going on. I love that little robot that stops by and says, hey. He's chilling. Yeah, he's like, yo. What's up? <laughs> this one's a top 50 for me. Yeah, it's up. Jeez. 
the detail and the texture work here is is very good and i love the the bright uh top light there uh illuminating the atmospherics ian you said this is your truck right it's a it's an asset yeah is the whole thing that he's pushing your asset it's been it's been modified yeah oh, okay this one is incredible on yeah but i, you know. I could I could probably pass. Yeah, I, I, if, if the truck had more character, if the truck had more personality, mm -hmm. like maybe like even if it was as simple as like the back of it was scraping on the ground, you know, like it's just barely hovering, uh, it would it would do more for me. But right now, it's just like it's just placing the shot. Yeah, this one's like right on the edge for me, but I could probably pass on this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna fight you guys. I do love this one though. It would be a, a yes for me. I, I love that ship in the background, kind of rising up. Uh, I'm I'm gonna pass on it. Okay. All right. Shout outs to Indie Story. And oh, hey now. One moment. All right. So let's tally it up. We're getting close. Oy. Let's see how we through to the top twenty-five. Um. Let me do a little count here. All right, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 49. We need one of the fighting tiers to come down for top 50. One of these three. Which of these three oh, do man. we want to take with us? One. I like the uh, the 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 wheel, the 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 screen wheel one, coffee factory, mm -hmm. the best out of those three. I I take out the checkerboard. You, you would you would take the checkerboard with us to top fifty. Oh, we get to pick which one goes pick up. Pick which one goes up. Oh, oh pick oh. one that goes up. Yeah, the rat race one I'd bring up. Rat race, okay, Peter. The meat meat factory. Yeah, I do meat. So the that. middle one there. This middle uh, one. The yeah, this. Okay. One, this one right here. Sounds good. Well, then the other two. Thank you for your service. Um, Seventy-five, which is pretty solid. Let me just do a little house cleaning here, and we'll get into the. I need a cookie. Because I am. Hot damn, it is 2 p.m. Well, I'm yeah. starving. Um, I'm going to throw out something here, Clint. Yes. Uh, you can still reveal the. Top 15. I mean, I'm, I'm down to go to the top 15. That's fine with me. Yeah, I, if we can pull that off. I think we could pull that off. Um, let's see. I mean, yeah, because it's, well, it's going long, you know. Is. Let's see. All right, let me do a little house cleaning here. Yeah, it's late. Okay. I mean, yeah, we've been here for three hours at this point. <laughs> I'm going to switch my mic real quick. And here, let's... a lot of people in NDSA and it's 2 a.m. We on top 50 now. Um... Let me do this quick window capture deal. Like, I don't know. Part of me thinks we should... Uh... So we have the top 50. What if we just go straight into revealing what the top 15 is? I'm down, and then we can... Like, we know what the top 15 is. Yeah, and then we can go top five from there. That... that... Sounds like the most reasonable thing to do with everybody's time. Because what, uh, a little bit of uh, back end reveal here. Basically, we spent all of this time narrowing it down to the top five, but the top 15 is where we ended up, like from narrowing it from top 15 to top five was where we spent most of our time debating because now we're like literally deciding which ones we want to fight over. And yeah. you, you actually uh, sent us a video of the top 15 so we can see like which ones were our favorites, uh, looking at them at high quality. And I say we just go through one by one, and when we get to the one that's like in the top, you're like, all right, this one's moving on. Okay. Then we get to. Yeah, agreed. So then let me, uh, let's hit top 15 then. Give me one moment here. I'm just going to switch out this screen here, 
and we'll make it happen. Thank you guys for your patience and uh, for hanging in with, with me for so long. Um, you guys' time is very valuable, so it means a lot that you guys are doing this with me. I'm actually reviewing okay. the video real quick just so I refresh my memory on what did make it to the top. Of the yeah, for sure. That'd be nice as well. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, like Brenda's saying, we met two nights ago. We did all of this in private, and we came up with uh, our top five. And it came down to the top 15, like Ren is saying. So I think what we'll go, what we'll do is we'll actually choose the top 15 right here from the top 50, and then we'll whittle it down to the top five. It's late for a lot of y'all, and we've been going for a while. So um, just making things a little easier on everybody. So we've seen many renders up until this point. Okay, so we're at top 15, one moment. I'm gonna switch out this uh, this card here for the little top fifteen. Bam. Okay. So let's pull up our top fifteen. I'm familiar with the top fifteen. Yes. Okay. Like the moment I see it, I'll we'll say yes. And if we don't see it, we'll just be like, this was good, but sorry. Like this All right, one. ready? <laughs> yeah, this one, amazing. Uh, oh, let me, hold on, give me a second. Yeah, this one's super solid. I love everything about it, just not top 15. Same. Super sick solid. render, yeah. Not top. Super sick render. Good times, Caleb. We love you. Shout outs, Carlos. Same to you, buddy. You know, Carlos, Good times. This is a top. Carlos, 15. top fifteen. Yeah, Carlos. Guys, what are you talking? There is no Peter cut. What are you talking about? <laughs> God damn it. Are they going on about the the satisfying render? Oh, it's coming. It's it's coming. This one is very good, but I don't think it made the cut. Yeah, David. Good stuff, man. Very good stuff. DD, yeah. good times. GG. Not top 15, right? No. Rest in peace. This one is a yes. This Donald, on the other hand, yo! Top 15. Yeah. Uh, Enrique, Enrique. Every time I see this one, I'm like, man, that's so good, but it didn't make really it. Good. Yeah, shout outs, man. Good times. Oh my God, I love this one so much. <laughs> Same, yeah. Didn't make it. Didn't make it, but it's so good. Same with this one. Didn't make it. Very close. Very, very, very close. close. This one's very good. Very close. Yeah. <laughs> very close. And very close. So close. We're, we're just looking at a oh. fun highlight reel at this point. Also, somebody said that the robot is reacting to a little burst of flames in the background. Oh, what? Oh, oh, yeah. That's cool. Okay, I guess there is some motivation there. It's, just, it's too subtle. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah, that well, one's Georgie. Um, yeah, this one I wish had a little bit more of a remote. Yeah, a little bit yeah. more. I wish it was easier to understand the character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude. This, this, is, this would have been so much better. I mean, this one's already so good, but that one would have been so much better had there just been a little bit more going on, you know? Agreed. Like, had, had, like, we've been able to see the feet, like, clench or something like that, implying that he's, like, pinching one off or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I like how clean it is. It's very clean. I dig it. Jason also Same with this yeah, one, like, didn't make it very close. The Santa Monica Pier, in my opinion. This is, like, a cool one. <laughs> Super sweet. Shoutouts. The glow. Yeah, I love the glow. They nailed the fire. Oh man, this one's also great. Jaden. Mm -hmm. This one I don't think made it. Did you? This one I don't think also made the top 15. Really? It's surprising. It? Yeah, it was very good, but it didn't make it. Same for John. Yeah, shout outs to John and Jonah. Super sweet. Thanks for. Shout out to Jonah. Hopping in. This one? Yeah. Made it. Yeah. This is very good. As did that one. Top 15. <laughs> Man, as did this next Top one. Top 15. <laughs> Let's go. Congrats to all you guys. 
Rip. Close. Mm. I do love this one. And this yeah, one. good stuff. It's so weird to be in a position of like, sorry, you didn't make it. And every single one of these are incredible. This one, yeah. Is, this one's yeah, good. this is a top so top weird. fifteen. It's so weird. This is like futuristic, but I get a very distinct like Edgar Allan Poe like feel from it. Mm-hmm. Um, this one didn't make it. But I love it. This no, one's like a favorite of mine. That one didn't make it. Uh, top fifteen, did. son. Loic, Lo Loic. <laughs> Congratulations, Lucas. Top oh, fifteen. This one's a good one. Top 15 for Lucas. So sick. Did you ever see that movie Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I got vibes from that one there. Man, this one. Oh, I love this one so, so much. So good. Mm. We're breaking hearts right now. Yeah, all the hearts are just shattering right now. I'm so sorry. Yes. Yeah, mm. it's like. Nick, amazing. Listen. Mm. I was yeah. trying to that one. <laughs> so this one, this one, this one Top goes 15. on. This one made it just because it nailed the the feel of intensity. You know, like yep, yeah. It feels like I'm in the middle of a hurricane. We can get into like a reasoning for everything once we choose it all. Yeah. Was this top top fifteen we chose? No, no it didn't make it. Dang, that was like must have been like sixteen. <laughs> It, yeah, no, it came down to it. This, that was the final one for sure. This is a uh, this one 100%. Goes on, this one made it. Mm -hmm. This one did Raul, not. Raul, well, shout outs, man. No, it did not. Oh, it didn't? Oh, okay. No. This one does. This one. Heck yeah. This one just, it feels so sharp and clean. At the yeah, point. it's amazing. 100%. And as did this one. This one also 100%. Did yeah. 100%. This one too. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. these next two. Yeah. Yeah. Top Both 15, those. baby. This was a pass Man. for top 15. This, this Great. Is good. It's just like not enough going on, you know? Same deal. Mm. All these are so I know. Good. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, that was it. That was the top okay. 15. Right. No. Let's no. count it up. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen. I think that C one made it. I think. I think it did. No, it definitely. It's not in this this video, at least. Oh. What's in the video? What's in the top fifteen? Wait, I think this top 15 is actually a top 14. Really? I promise we're not making this up off the top of our heads. We did all this work beforehand two nights ago. I'm glad we did. I mean, we are the judges. <laughs> we can decide this now. I, yeah. I'd bring the, if it was only 14, I'd bring the water one up. Same. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Let's bring the water one up. That, that one's great. Water world, son. Yeah. All right, so our top 15, I'm going to play them back to back here. Um, give me... Is that 14? No, no, it's 15. It's a true 15 right there. Give me one moment. I'm just going to combine these videos here briefly. Um, let's see. Da, 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 delete gaps. Bring to the front. And here we have our top 15. Get a battery for my laptop. Okay, I'm going to switch my mic too. I'm going to switch this mic out. Peter, want to want to tell us some science no. facts? Science facts. Oh man. That's so broad. What's it like specifically? Like what field? Like, uh, like a, what's your what's your coolest lightning fact? Like facts about lightning. Oh, I got a fact about lightning. Yeah. If, um, all right, I'm gonna have to demonstrate this. If okay. you're in a storm that has lots of thunder and you start feeling your hair standing on end, you're about to die. 
strike. And what yeah. you're supposed to do is you, uh, here, let me. You go like this with your heels together so the current, if it hits the ground, can go through your feet and doesn't go through your body. And you put your hands over your ears so your eardrums don't blow out. And that's it's basically like to, to protect yourself from a lightning strike. Airbender shit. So I climbed a little, like, a uh, lava butte in the middle of, like, a, a pumice field with uh, my fiance and one of her friends, and there was a lightning storm, and I was freaking out. And I was like, as long as nobody's hair stands up on end, we're fine. And I turned yeah. around at one point, and I don't know if you can see this, but, and they're oh like, Oh my god. They're like, it's the wind. I'm like, this is not the wind. Well, Come down god. the mountain. And everybody's laughing at me, but I still think I made it. No, so you made the right call to get get out of there. That's no joke. Oh my god. We're about to get zapped. That's insane. <laughs> wow. I actually threw, I was holding one of those like walking sticks, like the metal climbing sticks, because it's this really oh. steep hill. And I chucked it. I was like, I'm holding the lightning rod. Exactly. <laughs> I threw it at one of them, actually, though, in my panic. It was... <laughs> That's hilarious. Strike you, not me. <laughs> uh, I gotta ask the chat, how do I sound? Do I sound okay? Do I sound okay to you guys, I guess? You sound good to me. Sound good, yeah. yeah. All right. You sound exactly the same. Dude, everyone's like, Willie for 15. Dude, Willie, Willie's amazing. Willie's amazing. I know there's going to be people who disagree with the top five, but hey, that's just the way it is, you know? This is the four so of us coming together to do our best. Which one's Willie? So, I'm, I'm wondering how we should go about this next part here, because we are kind of going long on time. Should we just kind of talk about each one of these top 15 individually a little bit? What works, what we like about it, and then just reveal the top five? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll decide which ones actually win, because I have a feeling that's going to take some debate. That's a good idea. Yeah. Let's go through each one of these. Let's just talk about what we like about them, and let's reveal the top five. Um, and what we love about the top five, and then we'll figure out the order of those top five. Sound good? Totally. So this first one here, yeah. Uh, we good to go? Yeah, so this first one, my favorite part is the actual color. Like, the, the orange is the right type of orange. The blue is the right type of blue. It's, it's very, uh, you know, it's very... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's dark thematically, but also like maybe a little too visually dark it's the only thing that's kind of drawing it back for me i wish i i could see a little bit more detail especially the whole like top left quarter of the image there's like essentially nothing yeah i love the uh like the the body dump up here it's absolutely yeah, incredible it's the best bit. yeah i just dig these you feel that it's actually like several bodies and not just like some weird big shape <laughs> and the guy carrying up some more of them behind yeah Personally, yeah, I wish it was a little bit clearer in the foreground. But at the same time, that does make way for you to pay attention to the background and see what's going on. Yeah, it is focused. It's very, very focused. And I think that's why it made it to the top 15. I weirdly like the balance between the foreground and the, and the background. But yeah, I, I agree. It's just a little, a little too dark to me. And just like the its separation of the colors is almost too distinct. Like it's just, to me, the moon is a little too blue, and all the other lights are just a little too orange. Hmm. That's fair. I dig it. Yeah. I like the colors. I, I, like, I feel yeah. like it's getting that, that cinematic uh, teal orange look like the right way. It's not like overly done, like overly color corrected. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I feel like teal and orange looks the best when it's you get the teal and orange in camera and then just push it further in grading. All right, moving on. Uh, mm. I love this because the character is the probably one of the most unique. I also love your lighting. Yeah, I love the world. Most unique character. Yeah, the character alien is world amazing. feels very alien. All the little jumping grasshoppers like running away are super yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Every and time I watch it through, I see another little guy. It's just very unique, and I I think it all it all ties together in a really cool way. Like all the flowers look kind of like little gas pods or something. I don't know, they're just like little spheres. Now this one, you know, I think gets like a visceral reaction from all of us. Um, yeah. 
it's dude like i'm just like my, my jaw's on the floor with this one it's freaking crazy this one I'm works so it, yeah i'm beginning to wonder if this isn't a sim if it's all hand animated i think i think it is like if you look at any given one the keyframes are actually a little like wonky and some of them are glitching out but that actually makes them seem kind of more nightmarish yeah yeah it's that it's that like sort of uh you know that that scary movie type feel with like the ring you know where it, like the inconsistent movement adds to the creepiness and the yeah, horror just, aspect mm -hmm. jerking and lumbering also i love the color i love the the red and yellow uh side by side here yeah, it I also think you said feels it reminded you of old boy oh yeah the the hammer fight yeah so yeah, i forget which of you said like the pointing out there is a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel Right, yeah, let's go yeah. back to the tunnel shot real quick. Or, or not, you know, it's cool. <laughs> I got you. You guys see it? Yeah. Also, is it, what is that in the foreground there? I kind of kept, at first I thought it was like broken glass, like a broken window, but now it looks like it might be a, a mound of something. So it's like just rock. I think it's more shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It all fits together. This one, this green screen <laughs> shot, it's so well oh, done. This is a favorite of mine. Yeah. Okay. Everything so many about this, there's something to look at. It's not too distracting anywhere, but there's always something to look at. Mm -hmm. The detail is perfect. The render quality is really nice. The circular element is very unique. Um, and it's totally just like the meta, you know, on this. Yeah. Yeah, it's so meta. They he even has the 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 gray and chrome ball from the color mm -hmm. palette and all of the, the the stickers on the uh on the crate. So oh yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's a Rococo suit he's wearing. I think it is. It looks like the one. straps. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. <laughs> I love it. I'm I'm personally amazed by the fabric material like the sheen is perfect the roughness amount yeah yeah because that's not just like a, a glossy or a rough texture that's like or material it's it's like a specifically a fabric material in the way that the light bends around it yeah i freaking dig this also, one also i love how the characters from uh willy wonka and the chocolate factory are in the background there. <laughs> I left the little white character saying oh, yeah. that he gets miniaturized in the white room. That's funny. What's what's he scattering? Are those just leaves? I guess those are just leaves. Uh, I can't tell. It looks like leaves. Yeah, they are leaves. Also, when we, it, it, I don't. If we really get down to it, though, I don't. I don't get what the actual purpose is here. Like, why are there a bunch of green screen dudes when they're just getting milk cap? Like, there's no camera, you know? Like, <laughs> Ren, have you ever been on a set where they were doing VFX? Green everything. <laughs> yeah, no, on everything. Most people just don't get it. But yeah, the meta part speaks way louder than anything else here for me. And then on top of that, I really love the use of the orb as a foreground element. Yeah, Ren, we are the camera. You, you're looking, Leon, this, is this is the footage. This is the footage. All right, moving on. Dude, this one's very good. I love uh, this, the use of texture here, like the snow, that it feels like there's depth, like subsurface depth to the snow. It almost looks like cotton balls. Yeah, the mm -hmm. render quality here is like next to none. Freaking crazy. Like that frost, especially in the foreground, kind of out of focus. The whole thing feels so tangible. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, the red light. Is super cool. Like I feel like, if, like I could just wipe my finger across the ground and be like, "Ooh." <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Mm. This one, I love everything about this one because it has story. There's actual purpose for the mocap data. Um, the Visual composition and lighting is perfect. The render quality is perfect. There's a story going on. Like this, ha this fires on all cylinders for me. All of the layers also, is yeah, that there's, there's so a lot of invisible on. lights in the scene. Huh? Like above the car, the cop car, and like the rim light on the dude. Lots of uh, nice lighting work. Yeah. 
compositionally and I, lo- I love it's how wild. arbitrary some of this is like the little the the blue orb sitting there the the yard ornament it's like it feels so out of place and i feel like that's the point i, I hate know, that yard like ornament body thing they got it a at a, a a yard sale somewhere and stuck it in the front that's, yard like yeah that's the up? worst part of the render is that darn yard ornament dude i'm like no, no, <laughs> no 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 it's the best that's funny because it feels like so gaudy but also like notice the alien light coming out of the bedroom there like what's going on in that bedroom oh yeah that's a good point and just Ooh. the harvest and also it's a subtle detail here but the mere fact that they put the word harvest on that giant sphere in the distance implies so much like are they about to send this person on the gurney or this alien whatever it is uh this corpse to this that that sphere like i do think that... it might be a direct reference to oh, I'm, I'm doing a stream with some some folks okay. but i don't know when it's wrapping up but very soon very soon i would say like probably in the hear... next 30 minutes yeah you're fine ian but you could hear me just then yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I turned the little uh, volume. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, yeah. you're, you're good. No worries. So, yeah, we love this one. Also, I love how the uh, the dude in the back is like just taking a big hit on a cigarette, like all mm-hmm. the day's work. Yeah. Great. So, this one, I love the world. I love the lighting. And I love just sitting here trying to figure out exactly like what this crazy <laughs> world is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it feels like there are. Um, weird rules and i don't understand it but like it definitely feels like it exists i love the melted one in the foreground i i I can't remember the name of it but there's this D &D, uh game called starfinder and there's this race of aliens that are basically just made out of like bones and all of their architecture looks exactly like this this looks straight out of that it feels very inspired by that at the very least Mm. but i I just i love the yeah it's just it's weird you know Spores animating the people? I don't know. It's like I think they're their life source because when that guy dies, that the spore falls. Oh yeah. But I, he's not dying from anything, so I don't know what. Yeah. But yeah, I love the visual color world about, about this one. It's really cool. People are saying it's based on a comic. The word Geiger, H.R. Geiger, maybe. H.R. Oh. Geiger. That's a uh, the guy who oh, did okay. the. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Art for yeah, Alien. The designer I of Alien. Hmm. This one, I this one love the freaking fog. I love the atmosphere. I love the color. I love the render quality. I love the cloth sim. I love the light uh, in the helmet. It's a, such a good focal point. This one is mm-hmm. like so much for me. I love it. It draws your eye in the right way. Yeah. It's like great. it reads immediately and then it just stays solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's killer. So good. Now this one, boy. This is one that I have a weird relationship with because my immediate reaction is, hell yeah, this one's awesome. But the more I start really looking at it, the more I'm just kind of like, I don't know. It, uh, it, it does it, it, is, it does kind of just read as noise, especially with the lights in the background just kind of blinking and the fire completely not reacting to the, the wind. I love but the blinky lights. It, but it works, you know? like. Yeah, it, it, it has, to me, this one has everything too. It's the story, it's like emotion uh huge on the atmosphere the lighting is like i guess just what it needs to be um it's hard to convey intensity you know it's like it's one thing to set up a shot that's pretty but it's another to really make it feel intense yeah this one succeeds in that regard yeah there was when i saw the prompt i kind of pictured something like that mm-hmm. and this is the one that's like the, the only one that really yeah made it work yeah agreed this one, uh, I love mm. the world on this. It, it feels yeah. very vibrant, very fresh. Um, so alive. So alive yeah, and so real. Like, mm. <clears throat> you get this old little lady walking past the main character. Um, I love the lighting in it. I love the color. It draws the eye so well. It has so many things going for this that like, I'm, I'm all about this one. Yeah, it reminds me of Star Wars in that all of the characters are so unique and feel so grounded. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, I really love the love yellow. That. That's my favorite part. I love the yellow tubes on that foreground person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the subsurface scattering on those are sick. Also, also I, just I love realized... the choice of. Sorry, you go around. Um, 
I mean, blue and yellow are complementary, and I love that their suits are that way. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it's just like a subtle, ch- a subtle thing, but that choice, you know, of choosing. Uh, I don't know. I'm a big fan of complementary colors. You can see it in a lot of my own artwork, but it, this one's this one's uh, cool in that regard. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say, like the blue and yellow, and then you get kind of that red from the ship back there, and the red of the little swoopy swoop. Kind of has a primary colors vibe, which I dig. Yeah. I love that they have this like weird 1950s style like piece of furniture on their back, like some sort of radar <laughs> situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it feels like, yeah, they did crash land there and they're looking for something. Is that guy looking at his phone? He's like, I, I look at it as he's looking at a checklist. Like this guy's checking him into a hut that he's going to stay at. I see. Oh, oh that's so cool. Oh, I kind of read it as like uh, he, the other guy is having to haul their, their stuff and the guy in front is just kind of like texting, looking Mapping. at a map or something, yeah, trying to figure it. out where to go. That's funny. But yeah. like obviously putting off the hard work to the other guy. I guess that makes the most sense. I thought of him as like a landlord, but he's also in a very similar suit. So I think that's so cool. It's just the unhelpful roommate. <laughs> <laughs> also, wait, go back, go back real quick. Is that ET? Uh, in in the <laughs> this little thing, it might be. Yeah. It might be E.T. I just realized, is that E.T.? <laughs> E.T. phone home. E.T. carrying an electric bass on his <laughs> Man, this one's awesome. I, I still can't wrap my, hat, my head exactly around why this one works so well. It's the you lighting. Know, it's like, the lighting. It's, it's the flag lighting. from above, and so you get like lighting from both sides in a really nice way. Yeah, and it's also yeah. like the coolest spherical element, I think. I love that so mm-hmm. much. Like the city is detailed. There's just so much detail. It's a big ass nose trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> this one, uh, render quality mm. and lighting for me is like 10 out of 10. This one meets a very, very good middle ground between like something that's photorealistic but also painterly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love the, just the rocks and the puddles stretching off to the horizon. Like this one looks like a uh, one of those like pre-rendered game cinematics that they use in commercials before the game comes out for Destiny. I'm getting some yeah. Destiny vibes. From yeah, this. man, I love their totally. like uh, their stacking or you know the, like these orbs how they go off into the distance. I I love that so much. Yeah, and and then acts as leading lines like just the the position of those orbs. Even though there's not actually any lines though, it's uh it's still leading you your eye towards the person. Yeah, yeah, and that middle one also frames up the person, like in a little composition, like it's a, yeah. it's a frame within a frame, kind of. Yeah, super like good. this is one that would still work really well if you were to crop in to just like his feet in the top of that that middle sphere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. And this one uh, is so good just because of how unique it is. No one else yeah. came close to kind of like I don't know. Yeah, the, the top five that we're going with, um, each one of them shines in their own way. And they're all they're all like maxed out on most of the levels, but like you guys will see here that like each one is very specific. Um, and they're hitting they're firing on all cylinders, but a lot of them like like this one in particular, just the justification for the mocap data um, is so freaking good. Very similar to the uh, like the harvest one, like this one right here. The, the justification for the mocap data, it's just freaking top notch, um, and it's a beautiful render. Love the lighting; it's just it looks like three hundred or something. It's very, very well executed, and also still has a very good, you know, consistent art quality, a consistent art style across the board. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and compositionally, it just reads really clear. Man, this one, <laughs> this one's so good. Yeah, Th- this. I think it's it's hard not to like. I don't know. It's it's just obvious. Like, look at this. It's crazy. Every bit was given so much love. Oh, yeah, pretty wild. Freaking crazy. Um, and then we have our uh, our water scene for that's that's the fifteen here. That's what we're having to choose yeah. between for the top. Five. 
Um, also, again, notice the use of color. A lot of complimentary yellow and blue. Yeah, you know? cyan. It was a good blue. choice making the, the, the diver wear yellow outfit and, and whatnot. It, it stands out in the right way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so those are our top 15, y'all. And we have already chosen the top five. How do you guys want to reveal I it? Say we just, I, I say, Clint, you have a list of the top five. Go straight to them. Be like, this is uh, one through five of the top five, but we haven't decided which one is number one. We haven't, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you just said it. <laughs> no, so, so basically the idea is of these 15, we're going to choose five. Um, they're, uh, they are in no particular order. We're going to figure out the order once I tell you the top five. All right. And that'll be basically the end of our journey today. Uh, it's been a long stream. I hadn't peed yet. That's going to be sick. Um, oh boy. I hadn't eaten yet either. That's going to be cool too. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the little title card here to top five. The champions. This is the champion section. Um, and let me just switch out this here so we don't get a bunch of lag like we have been getting. Bear with me. A little window capture. Resolve. And we're going to get these top five out to you in like one minute. And I'll go through. I'll basically go through the top five and I'll tell you why that we we all agreed collectively we got together two days ago. We did exactly what you saw us do just now, but privately um, as a nice little rehearsal. And I'm going to reveal to you guys the top five here and our decisions on why we collectively agreed. We gave each one a point. We picked our personal top five. Um, three of those went to the top. Uh, automatically so, and then basically we had to fight and argue over the last two resulting in our top five um ren did you have anything because we had a top seven yeah we had a top we seven had a top seven yeah that's right to top five. but uh real quick i, I feel like I, I before we even discuss anything revealing the top five straight up uh, it says ren's muted wait hold on am i still muted it's impossible i can hear you ren give me levels can you not hear me clint oh we're getting levels you're good I mean, so did you hear what I said, though? Like, uh, let's reveal the top five. And I feel like in our debate about which ones should get first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, all of that will, will come out. You're right. You're right. Okay. So here we go. Announcing the top five. Hoo-wee! First off, uh, Carlos, I appreciate you. Donald, I appreciate you. I better not mess this up, huh? Julia, I appreciate you as well. Uh, Julianne, Julian, you're the first top fiver. Congratulations. Uh, more, you're gonna win a prize. more on that in a second. You're going to win something. Uh, Juicy, my goodness, you came close. Clay, top five, buddy. Congratulations. Right. Loic, amazing. He came darn close. Lucas came darn close. Wait, was Lucas not in the top five? I don't think so. No, look at the list. Hold on. Let me double check. Double oh. check here. You can't be doing this to me, Ren. <laughs> this top five. <laughs> I, I thought I remembered it was in the top five, too. Hold on. I Maybe I screwed up. No, you're right. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. You texted me a photo of the top yeah, five. Not. I can't find it now. It's in the group chat. It, I, it is it's not, not in, in my group five. chat. Just to be sure. It's not in there, right? I texted you guys the five. I'm looking yeah. at the picture. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. It's not. Okay. God dang, Ren, you're giving me... Whew, giving me the shakes here. All right, yeah, we're still moving on. Still moving on. Um, so Lucas, that's how close you came. Um, Nidhish, very, very close. But Pearson is a top fiver. Congrats, Pearson. 
Sam Faulkner, very darn close. <laughs> Sergey, ooh, very, very close, my friend. Uh, but Stefan gets it. Top five for Stefan and top five for Steven or Stefan. So that is our top five. Um, the underwater you go. GG to you go. Yeah, GG to all you guys. Um, mm -hmm. Holy crap. Let's go through these top five and figure out how we're going to order these top five. Because um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a deal here. So the chat is probably freaking out right now and also mm -hmm. being like, what? How could this not get top five? Y'all, it was a collective effort, you know? Um, we all had our favorites. We all had our favorites. We all have our favorites, exactly. Mm -hmm. None of us agreed on any of this. <laughs> yeah. It was hard to come to a like conclusion. There, there was no clear winner. There was nothing that was uniformly like, yeah, this one's a clear winner. Uh, they're all, every, all of these top five. I, I mean, yeah. It's going to take some debate here to figure out this order now. Okay. By the time we Maybe reach we like the top we... 15, it was like, these are just, these are it. These are, these are so good. The chat's going yeah. crazy. Like, F, F, F. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They're all so good. They're all so freaking good, guys. Oh, uh, that's funny. Water sucker should have won. Wait. What does F mean? Does that mean they're No, angry? it means pay respects. Like, uh, respect to all respects. the... Oh, it's, it's another all right, all right, way right. of saying RIP. Rest in peace. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, there is going to be no... Like, it's not official until it's official. So, bear with us. All right? Here's what I think. I think this one is first place. Um, Yo, he needs to go through and figure out what our number one pick is. Yeah, so, okay, okay, okay. Our personal number. All right. Doesn't mean anything. I'm going to Yeah, I'm oh, in our hearts. There is no official winner yet, all right? Well, these are the five winners, but we need to figure out the order cuz the prizes get crazy. Um Yeah, what's what's our What's our top? What's our number 1? Do we each want to go through ours or do we want Each. Wanna... Each. Okay. For me it's this one. This is number 1 for me. Uh. I'm accounting for story, render quality, lighting, use of the mocap, uh, um, what is it, uh, composition, I got uniqueness. Mine. I got mine. Okay, um, Ian, what do you got? Um, my first one, this one, Last Plant. Yeah. It's just every time I see it, I just want to keep like looking in at it. Everything was given was given attention. Like the renders clean, the designs are are cool. Um, the paint or the plant looks painterly. Uh, everything that could be thought out seems like it was thought out. Yeah, I this is number one for me because, and again, it's not official yet, but this is number one for me because it has story. This story is freaking awesome. I love how deep it goes the more you look. The, the design on it is top-notch. The world building is top-notch. Um, the color, the composition, the render quality, like the materials, everything about this is like so freaking good. So that's, that's my number one pick. Uh, Peter, what do you think? Dude, I had mine. And then you started talking about that one. <laughs> And now I'm looking well, okay, at. Okay, stick with yours. No, 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 no. You yeah, have to. You're, the, 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 it evolves and changes. You know what I'm saying? So like. So yeah. it was harvest, but now the more I look at this one, the more I'm amazed by it. Although, <sighs> I could see harvest as number two, simply because. Okay. It uh, it is like, the Stalin hag vibe. And it's like. No, harvest is my number two. It's just it's so it's like perfect yeah. in. Or Harvest is my number one because okay. like the characters, the posing, the vibe, the atmosphere, the tonality, the dynamic range, all the invisible lights that were placed to like catch the edge of vehicles and like rim light things and highlight certain things. It's just brilliant in every way. So that's my top. Uh, Ren, what do you think? At this, at the same time, like it is just so Stalin hog. That's like, also true. Absolutely not... fantastic, but like, it is very much somebody else's style, just kind of brought in for, 
for their own work. Yeah. That's a good point. That's like that is a good point. When I when I did I did a big old list with a number, like a tally thing, and originality was one of the things on that list. And this definitely yeah. rated lower than like this one, you know? Yeah. Um, so like this gets this gets an originality point for me versus this one. Um, you know, that's a good point. I was pretty tired on them, but I, I'm pretty I'm sure this my... is a direct reference to Simon Stallenhag, so I'm going to go with the uh, the last plant. Ren, what do you think? So, I already have my top five picked out. Okay. You want me to just say it or just tell you What's your number one? one? My number one is the, the warrior walking through the field. I, uh, I don't know. It's like... I'm not even that big of like a, a middle ages warrior type deal. Like that's not like something I, I naturally vibe with, but I feel like it, it, it's one of the most creative uses of the prompt. And I feel like it's just so perfectly executed on all fronts. It's, it's technically good, but it's also beautiful. You know, it's, it's, it looks like a painting in motion and uh, just the use of arrows, like it, it also feels like a shot straight out of a, a movie or a show. You know, it's like it, I, I feel like there's there's like a character struggle going on here that I can just I, I I can see it, I can feel it. But my second place is the last plant. Okay. Yeah. This one I've come around to. Initially, I was a little less uh, on it. You know, like I was just kind of like, I mean, it's cool, but it, what I don't know. It's been reading to me more and more the longer I look at it, and it's just Same. so well done. It it looks like all of the different elements for it are also uh, intentional, you know. Like it doesn't feel kit bashed. Yeah, it feels yeah. like everything that I'm seeing was made for this, even if it wasn't. You know, like maybe some of those background elements are kit bashed uh, rails and and pipes and stuff thrown together, but everything in the foreground looks like it was either modeled or or specifically tweaked. And the the character looks originally created the 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 way the curve of the glass is, you know, mm -hmm. it's like that that jar. Okay, so I think we can like safely say, for now, it's not official yet, but I think we can safely say that this last plant is safe to chill in the first place spot for now because it's me and Ian's first. Peter, is it your first or second? It's my first. Okay, and it's Ren's second, so I think it's chilled to chill in the first place spot for now until something we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure it out okay <laughs> okay so here's a here's a here's a different approach for this next selection. last place for last yeah. place let's pretend we can only keep four which one goes the green screen you think it's the green yeah. screen green screen or green screen or green screen or star wars, star wars. market However, sci-fi market is the one that gets to go for me. For for me too. I I love it, obviously. But yeah. yeah. This one's but amazing. It, the only thing that bothers me is the wall on the left and the ground plane. The ground plane is very much feels like a single texture without much, you know, uh, agreed variety in height. Displacement. Yeah. And I can see like some rocks clipping through the ground a little bit. And there's there's a lot of light on that wall that feels a little empty, and that's the only thing that's throwing me off about this one. Um, here's what I like about this one. I like how it guides your eye throughout the scene. I like the uh, the the subtle use of colors. It's not too saturated. I like how it actually feels like a, a live, thriving market. Um, I like how these characters feel unique in the foreground and the background. Um, I love that there is enough story. Like the, sto I, I will admit the story isn't quite there. It's not a hundred percent there for me. Um, last place, I don't know, like versus the green screen for me, I think the render quality is the worst of the five. Really? Yes. The render quality really? is the worst of the five. Dang, I was thinking it was, I don't know, maybe it's because it feels so realistic. Like, this one feels the most realistically rendered to This me. feels like... Everything yeah, else too. has a bit more of a, uh, a style to it, but this one has like a reality style that I think works. Weird, because I feel like this has a video game style, and these have movie styles. These are movies, 
and this one is a video huh. game. I is the way I feel. See that one. This one feels like I. This one feels like I whipped out my iPhone and got a shot in a room. Same. Yeah. Yeah. This feels like, like standing feels, in the back of a room. That's what I mean when it like... feels real. But here's the thing. I'm also way more down for like fantastic worlds like this, dramatic, vibey worlds, than just like a green screen room. Personally. Yeah. I don't know. But it is like this, I just this, think the it's one, its own is concept so far. Uh, say again, Peter. I just think it takes its own concept so far, and the amount, like the density of jokes, is great. Yeah. And the yeah. references to, I mean, it's it's perfect for us because we're all in this world, and so we're like, oh, I get all these jokes, you know. Yeah. It, it 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 speaks to me so loudly that it's like someone has like a freaking speakerphone next to my head. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I mean, this was my my personal number three, and it was actually kind of going for number two. This was my number three. This would be number my number. If it's not like if it's not the fifth place for me, it would have to be fourth place. Like I, I think. Who? But okay, tough. I mean, we're trying to figure out a fifth place right now, and I think uh, we're all leaning towards the the little market. Uh, Pearson's one is number five, right? So you guys feel, you guys feel that this one is fifth place. Uh, Ren, who feels strongly this is fifth place? I feel strongly okay. that this is fifth place. I don't know about strongly, but but yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Let's let's work it into that fifth place spot, Pearson. Get you in that fifth place spot. We'll revisit. We're gonna revisit. We'll do a final check in here before we call it. But right now we got Pearson in fifth place. We got Stephen in first place, and we have to figure out the order of uh, second, third, and fourth. Now personally, so let's. Personally, this is the way I would do it. I would say, this is me, this is me. Fourth place? With, with, with the stretcher? Wait, fourth, fourth place? Or, sorry, 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 sorry. Second place? Second place right here. Harvest gets second place. I would You think that's your second? Yeah, I would say Steven, okay. Stefan, third place with the warrior. And then I would say fourth place with the green screen. That's me personally. Okay. Same. So I'm different. Wait, hold on, hold on, real quick, I real quick. The, uh, Peter, okay. you, you're 100% on that? Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, Red, what do you got? I, uh, I think the uh, go back one, the harvest one. Yeah, harvest. That's my number four. That's your fourth. You think that's fourth place? Crazy. Yeah. Okay. How come? I don't know. It doesn't resonate as well as the others. But it has story and it has a render quality and it has like beautiful composition and like the lighting is incredible yeah and i like the lighting and composition and story and everything about the others as well it, i don't know i'm just saying from a personal standpoint this one doesn't res resonate as strongly as the warrior or the green screen okay from a, what do you think again i from my personal judgment point of view it is awesome it is a top five contender here but in my point of view it's fourth place behind the green screen the warrior and the last plane. Okay, so you're you're saying warrior second place, green green screen third place, harvest fourth place, and then the like Star Wars world fifth place. That would be my order. Yeah. Um, Ian, what do you got? Yeah, mine is really similar. It's uh, harvest is second, uh, warriors third. Sorry, sorry. Um, green screen. Oh no, no. Sorry, I'm reading yours. I'm reading yours. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Um, it's uh, harvest is second, green screen is third. Warrior is fourth, and uh, the Space Village is five. Okay, so you would swap the Warrior. You think green screen is uh, third place, and the Warrior is fourth place? Yeah. Oh, boy. This is heated. Okay, so me and Peter are synced up. Are you still synced up on this, Peter? Yeah. Fourth place green screen, third place Warrior, second place Harvest. Ian... Here's the thing. I, the Harvest one, I do like a lot, but I think the fact that it does hit way too hard on the Stalinhag style loses some of that originality for me. It's a great execution of that, of that sort of style and concept. Uh, it's very, very good. I just don't know if it deserves second place. I think the, like, I hear you on the Stalinhag thing, but I think the story and the, um, uh, the story and the lighting beat out the others, the other two. Like, I agree. 
Yeah, this, it's the story for me on this one. It's like there's so much. Like as a piece of art, I think this one stands uh, above the other two. So if. Not that the other two aren't fucking I know, I know, I are. know. <laughs> so here's the thing. I mean, if To be completely honest, I'm not that attached. If you guys want this one as your second place one, I'm down. Well, we, I think right now we have three people saying Harvest as second place. Um, Ian and Peter, you you think Harvest is second place, right? Yeah. Okay. I I mean, obviously it gets voted up. I, I, I see that. I'm just saying I could be convinced as well. I, I just, I don't know. It was... The lighting didn't impress me as much as it did you guys on this one. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, that's the whole thing is like, that's the beauty of having four judges is like, it's a perfect mix yeah. of like, of multiple voices. It's not just me choosing it. So, so, so the way you have it ordered right now with the, the far left being fifth place and the far right being first place, like that looks like a good order to me. I'm, I'm down to, you know, sign off on that order. So second or fourth and third and fourth place between these. Peter, you agree, right? This is... I agree. But, but uh, Ian, you have these flip-flopped, right? Y yeah. I mean, it's, it's so close. Just like the, the medieval one, it's, it's a great idea, and it's implemented like perfectly. Like It is so incredibly solid. Uh, the green screen one is just also a great idea done perfectly with like all of these additional little, little jokes and things to discover. Like... I've been looking at the medieval one uh, a lot, and I haven't really seen anything more than I saw in the first few seconds. Yeah. It just continues yeah. to be really, really solid. Whereas the green, uh, the green screen one kept. There's all these little things kind of hidden in there, and I, I dug you know that. I, I dug the rich. humor. I agree with Ian. I agree with Ian. You guys think a uh, green screen should be number yeah. three? Yeah. Yeah. I'm down too. I like it. Okay. Well, then we might. Sorry, Stefan, you just got demoted. Stefan, it's chill, dude. It's chill. Wacom tablets, they, you know, they're they're reasonably priced. I'll say that. They're reasonably priced. Um, uh, so is this, is this it? I think so. It? Like, we have, uh, we have Pearson in fifth place, Stefan in fourth place, Julian in third place, Clay in second place, and Stefan in first place. I feel, I feel good about that. Me so too. Drop that layer down. Yeah. Hold on one second here. I feel good about this too. This like, I am at peace with this selection. So for me, green screen um, has uniqueness. Um, and I just had it on the top of my head. It has uniqueness and story a bit more than the warrior the warrior i yeah. beats that beats it out in render quality but i think in terms of uniqueness Absolutely. and story the green screen is is better the warrior also works the best as a thumbnail out of all of these i think yeah even including the first place like looking yeah. at all of these in their small form there like the the warrior one like zoom out a little bit in your timeline i don't i don't think the rest of the the audience can see it what's but, up do what uh, they can only see the art like zoom out in the timeline a little bit so we don't see duplicated images on the the bars. Oh yes. Yeah, there we go. So like just looking like uh, an imagery standpoint, I feel like the the warrior is the strongest. In but terms in of like video, the light, the lighting and the visual, yeah, yeah, I see you. Yeah, just like the contrast, the natural vignette going on. Um, you know, like when we when we review thumbnails and it's like, does this thumbnail work when I it's literally the size of my thumb, and you're looking at it across the room like. Uh, it's not it's i'm just throwing out extra details that i'm noticing uh y'all the chat's going crazy we're not doing a poll we're not doing a poll no we got <laughs> all of these we got no we're deaf i'm not i'm not even looking at the chat if people are suggesting what should be top it is five. not yeah we're not doing polls y'all like we 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 got this the best group of people together zero influence. we have put hours and hours and hours and hours of thought into this and this is what it is so we actually legit have at this point yeah um so Pearson, congratulations! You got fifth place, buddy. Um, you oh, are getting yeah. a year-long oh, yeah. Quixel Mega Scans subscription, and you're also going to get a really cool PNY SSD. Um, mm -hmm. Stefan, fourth place, congratulations! You're getting the same exact thing: the year-long yeah. subscription of uh, Quixel Mega Scans, and also you will be getting a PNY SSD. Julian. 
Congratulations, buddy. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Huh? What? Fourth and fifth place prizes are the same. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Julian, you are getting the year long Quixel Mega Scan sub subscription. You are also getting uh, a more advanced PNY SSD. It's way faster. And you're also getting a Wacom tablet of your choice. Um, small, medium, or large, whatever you want. Congratulations. We love your stuff. Clay, congrats on second place. You're getting the Quixel Mega Scan subscription. Uh, you're getting the super fast PNY SSD. You're also getting a Wacom tablet. You're also getting a pair of these bone conduction headphones. I love these things. They're uh, open ear headphones. You can go on hikes and listen to some I cool music. I forget that they're called aftershocks. Yeah. Because we always just call them bone phones. Bone phones, yeah. Um, and finally, the grand prize. The grand prize. Ooh. All that other stuff, plus a full Rococo motion capture suit, along with the gloves and their Studio Pro uh, for about a year, I believe is what it is. Yeah. You're getting all that stuff, dude. Um, Stefan, Stefan, congratulations on first place. You freaking deserve it. Um, freaking sick, man. Congratulations to all five of you guys who won. Congrats to all top 100 who made this whole video. Um, and congrats to congrats everyone. To everybody. Yes, dude. Everybody. Hard on this stuff. Yeah, you, I mean, taking a month to do something and like, and actually delivering, not many people can say they've done that. Um, it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to stick to. Even myself, with my render right now, I'm having a hard time finishing it. It's like, ugh, I know I need to. I will. Two weeks, there'll be a breakdown on it. But now that we're done, I can now take a step back, readjust, context switch out of like judgment picking mode. And now I'm just like, oh my God, they're so amazing. Now I want to actually yeah. watch all 2,400 of them. Yeah, <laughs> so that comes out next week. Because you had a few yeah. in, the, in the, the, the intro video to the stream. You were showing a few that didn't make it into the top 100. Yeah. And I was looking at it and I was like, dang, these are all really good. They must have just barely not made it to the top 100. Seriously, yeah. Um... There's a lot. My, myself and the moderators went through and, you know, went through and freaking picked the top 100 and it was really hard because there's a lot of solid renders. This is a very difficult process. I'm shaking. I'm nervous. <laughs> that was and I feel like so many of these renders are just like the best thing that so many people have have made. Like yeah. more creative energy has been dumped into all of these things than I've seen in one place in like forever. 18 it's, years. Uh, this is incredibly <laughs> special. Exactly. Um, so next week, we have a top 100 montage with custom music by my, my boy Feverkin. He wrote two tracks for it. Top 100, all these renders we went through, you're going to see them in a montage with some sick music. I'm going to put everyone's names and social medias on it so you can follow all these artists. And uh, also, coming out that same Saturday, is going to be the full 2401 cut. Everything. Three and a half hours of every single submission all with the frickin', uh, with the credit, the social medias and the names attached so you can find any artist you want. That's gonna come out uh, this next Saturday, one week from now. Uh, I have a lot of names to type up and that's why I had you guys include your names <laughs> in, the prod, in the file name <laughs> so I could see it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's clutch having it in the actual file name. You don't have to cross-reference anything. Woo. Congrats, everybody. Seriously. Everybody. Someone Seriously. says they didn't understand the 18 years thing. But every person who submitted something, you ask them to also submit how much time they worked on for that. Yeah. Some people were putting 10 hours. Some people were putting 100 hours. And you tallied up all of the hours total, and it totaled up to 18 years worth of hours. <laughs> yep. It's <sighs> unbelievable. Could have really? raised a kid with all that work. I know. <laughs> That's older than like probably half the people who submitted. It's crazy. And that's like pure nonstop work, no break, no no vacations. Yeah. Um, I got to say thank you to you guys for taking the time. It probably took a little longer than we planned for. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and to the moderators, to you guys up in here, thank you guys to my moderators for keeping the chat tame. Thank you, chat, everybody in the chat for chilling out with us and having a good time. Um, and if you guys didn't win, I got basically all the companies that provided uh, prizes. They gave like 15%, 10%, some 50% off discount codes in the description. So you guys can like, you know, if you were thinking about getting one of those things anyway, they wanted to provide like a little little discount code for y'all. So you can hit that up. So like the top 100? Nice. 
Yeah, or everyone who's been everyone, appearing. anyone who clicks that anyone. Yeah, it's anyone. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, I'm probably gonna just use the restroom and chill with with the chat for another ten or fifteen minutes before I call it. Um, but you guys, feel free to hang out. But you guys have spent too much time doing this already. <laughs> Go to your, thing your weekend. Our, my, our Skype call is at four hours and 43 minutes right now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, wow. I'm running off of like 12 olives. Oh, my God. You've been eating olives this whole time? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> not going to lie. I, 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 if, we're, if we're done here, I think I'm going to go. <laughs> Get out of it. What are, Ren, what are you doing here? Get out. Go. <laughs> Thank but you. This is incredible. Honestly, Clint, thank you so much for inviting me to be a judge on this. I feel honored to have been a part of this. I thought about even submitting something of my own. I didn't have the time to actually put any effort <laughs> into something. So I was going to try to just like make the low, lowest effort, most insultingly stupid entry. But then I was like, no, that's no. I, I really appreciate you, man. Thank you guys for. I'm happy to have been in. in involved in the way i was this is very cool pretty yeah, much same. everyone in the top 100 submitted something that i feel i could not have competed with and so that's how good everything was from my point of view it was just incredible like I, every single shot I was just like man that, i don't know how to do that or man i wouldn't have thought to do that it was just everything was incredible the end thank you so much for having me on thank you ren for taking the time especially on your uh, vacation yeah. weekend all of you guys yeah weekend Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Ian. You guys are the best. Love you. Just excited to see what you do next time. Yeah. Dude, seriously. Yeah. I'm excited for the next one. This is this was a really big one. I imagine you're going to give it a little bit more time before you do another. Not true. But I'm excited. It's going to be way <laughs> faster than you think it's coming. Way faster. Really? Yes. Oh, so next week. It's okay. not next week. It's not next week, but it's very <laughs> soon. <laughs> Um, yeah, Clint, this was this was really special. I I feel honored, like Ren said, to be a part of this. You know, just seeing everybody in the 3D community who usually we're all in our own little niches and our own subreddits, but seeing everybody come together into this one thing was really cool and something I've never seen before. So kudos to you. Thanks, man. Th and thanks to freaking all you guys who submitted, who made this a thing. Because I obviously there would be nothing if you guys didn't submit to this. And like, I'm just putting the videos together, you know, like, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Ian. Hell yeah. It's been Dude, fun. Thank you. Just chilling with the boys. Yeah. Go enjoy your weekends. <laughs> Go enjoy your weekends. Have a good all one, right. guys. Go all use right. the restroom. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate all of you, too. Amazing, really cool. amazing, amazing jobs. Peace out, y'all. I'm going to chill with the chat here, but um, you guys have a good one. Enjoy the weekends. All right. Take bye, care. Bye. Peace out. Dun, dun, dun. And then... There was one. Oh. Whew. Boy, oh boy. That was intense. Oh. Y'all, thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, that was quite the stream, huh? I need to use the restroom. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys all this, all this art back to back. It's going to be crazy. Um, so a couple things, I'm going to just a couple announcements. I'm going to take a two minute break, use the restroom and I'll come back. I'll answer any questions you guys have, hang out with you guys for another 15 minutes or so. If you guys, you know, a little, a little postmortem. Um, but that was incredible. Obviously couldn't have done this whole thing without you guys. Uh, thank you to the sponsors for providing awesome Awesome content and awesome, uh, see, my, I'm brain dead at this point. Awesome prizes for the top five winners. Um, if you guys didn't win, it's all good. I know there were some really cool prizes this time around, but I hope if you entered this thing that you learned something and you grew over this last month because that's exactly what this whole stream is for. It's for all of us to learn and grow together in our passions. And for me right now, my passion among other passions is VFX, 3D work, world building, lighting, uh, telling stories, making movies. That's what I wanna do. So I get to do it every week with you guys and get better at it. I don't know all the answers. I don't know how to do all the tricks in the book. I know a couple tricks and I've learned a lot from you guys. I've learned a lot from this chat. Every week we get together 
right now uh, we're at 2,800 live viewers, which is double what I've ever had. And that's freaking amazing. If you guys are new to this channel and if you liked what you saw, this was very, this was different. You know, we're reviewing art. Um, definitely subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already. Uh, and if you guys like the content, check out the channel. Um, watch a couple of videos. The whole point is to learn and grow together in our passions, VFX 3D passions. I usually like to keep it pretty chill. This stream in particular was pretty intense. Um, I've had the most technical difficulties I've ever had on a live stream. It was also the biggest live stream I've ever done. It was also the most pressure on a live stream for me personally. So it was very, uh, lots of anxiety and stress. And I'm glad I get to chill out right now. Um, cause it was very stressful that first hour with all the lagging and stuff. I'm glad we got it figured out. Uh, we peaked at 6k. Heck yeah. Amazing. But I gotta just shout outs to you guys for, for hanging out with me and hanging out all the way. I know it's late for a lot of y'all. Um, I just hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys are able to take a little bit of this knowledge and, and apply it to your own work, apply, apply it to your own art. And you know, not everyone is, a, is going to agree with the top five winners that myself, Ian, Peter, and Ren chose. I get that, I get that. And if it was like, if it was up to just one person, the results would probably be a little bit different. Um, not very different, maybe a little bit different. But I wanted to keep it as broad as possible. That's why I wanted to bring Peter, Ian, and Ren on is to have a less biased opinion, a less biased view of all of these renters. Um, so I would just congratulate all you guys. You know, I don't want to knock anybody for not winning. I don't want to say, oh, they should have got third, they should have got fourth. Like, it's totally okay. And it's okay for you guys to have your opinion on that. Um, as we, myself, Ian, Peter, we all had our different opinions. That's totally fine. Um, but shout outs to Pearson, Stefan, Julian, Clay, and Stefan. There's two Stefans, Stefan, um, for winning this thing. I'll be in contact with you guys. Send you some emails. 3.24 a.m. for Garov. Uh, thanks for hanging in for so long. How are you guys doing? How's everyone? You guys hanging in? Thumbs ups. Thanks for chilling with me. You guys are hanging out almost midnight for Alessandro. If you guys have any questions for me, hit me up with, uh, with a little at Ponisher. When is my render coming? Good question. I got a render. I did, you know, a little submission. Um, in the next two weeks. So next weekend is going to be these montages, the 100, top 100 montage with custom music by, by my buddy Feverkin. Uh, you can look them up on Spotify if you guys want to check them out beforehand. And then also, uh, there's the top 2,401 renders. It's going to be a three and a half hour long video with everything. So both of those come out next weekend. The following weekend, I'm going to do a really nice, chill breakdown of my render, of my submission for this thing. Uh, if you guys saw my, uh, my mortality run, you know, art breakdown with the car in the ocean with the oil rigs in the back, if you saw me do that, it's going to be very similar to that. So that's the next two weeks. Definitely subscribe if you guys want to catch that. If you want to catch the top 100 montage, the 2401 montage, subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video, leave a comment. You know, you guys have been on YouTube. You know how to do this stuff. Ah, oh man, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna soldier through. I'm gonna chill with y'all for the next 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then I'm gonna eat some food. Um, so I see some questions coming in. What do we got? I'm just gonna, I'm looking at the ones with at Ponisher. All right, it's just a little easier for me to see here. Um, Sotomonte, do we have a weekly challenge for next week? Hadn't even thought of it yet. Um, so there's a, I have a Discord server, right? It, the link is in the description. And it's a community of 3D artists for all of us to challenge and push ourselves. This is a month long challenge we just did. Usually we do weekly challenges, much smaller, much more chill. Um, and I review those at the end of every live stream I do. And yes, we will be getting back to weekly challenges. I will probably announce the weekly challenge uh, tomorrow. I am wiped right now. <laughs> so maybe I'll get something up later today. Maybe I'll get something up tomorrow, definitely uh, by tomorrow for sure. But yeah, we'll, we'll be doing weekly challenges again. And it's a fun little submission process. I 
break down, do a lot of honorable mentions here on the stream, pick five winners. There's no prizes. It's just to learn and grow together. Different little prompts for every week. Um, Stephen Grimm. Holy crap. The first place winner. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the feedback. Really crazy. I didn't expect to be top 100. You freaking won, dude. That's insane. I'll be sending you a Rococo mocap suit, a Wacom tablet, bone conduction headphones, Quixel mega scans, PNY SSDs, dude. You're going to be popping off. Heck yeah. Um, Willing. I have a question. You stack two lasagnas on top of each other. Are they separate lasagnas or one big lasagna, in your opinion? <sighs> I'd say one big lasagna. If they were cooked together. If they're cooked out the oven, then stacked after it's been plated, that's two lasagnas on top of each other for sure. Pilinio Clint, will the download of the project will keep will you keep it available? I want to do a version of my own. Um, I will have that available to you guys. I'm gonna have basically, I'm gonna announce it next week. Um, I'm starting a Patreon. I'm starting a Patreon next week. Um, it's not live yet, but I'm going to, going to announce that uh, with the montage videos. I think on that, you guys will have access to basically everything. All my downloaded files, all my assets, all my project files, um, all of my you know, surface imperfections, any product I would ever sell, it'd be there for free. Um, I'm going to get into it a little bit more on exactly what the Patreon will look like, but that'll be announced next week. Um, that kind of stuff. Will stuff still be available? It'll probably all be on the Patreon. It just depends. Maybe I'll have the product. I should probably have the project file just for free. I think that's probably the best way to go. Just have it up for free, like an archive on the Discord server. The Discord is free. You don't need to be on any Patreon or anything. It's just a free Discord. Link's in the description. Um, good question, though. Yeah, we should probably have that available to all you guys to just mess with and play around with. Is the next challenge this summer? Yes, the next challenge is this summer. It's going to be announced a lot sooner than you would think. Another reason to subscribe. If you guys want to be a part of this awesome challenge with some prizes, um, we're going to do a little different uh, this next time. Different little concept, different camera. Mix it up a little bit, you know? The last two we did are people walking. Nah, no people in this one. It's going to be cool. What else do we got? We got a lot of, a lot of questions up in here. Uh, the countdown render was like top 150. No, the countdown render, like basically, um, here, let me, let me play it for you. Let's see here. Let me just play it for you real quick. Very briefly, very, very briefly. So that last one there, that was Dizzy Vipers one with like the uh, the like desert sand with the eyeball and the outhouse getting blown away. That was Dizzy Vipers. Um, no, that's just a random collection of the 2400 that I just quickly dropped in to make that countdown. That's not top 150. It's just random picks, you know. Um, thank you guys for all the super chats. My God, I couldn't get back to you guys on all of those because it was just such a hectic stream trying to fix all the Technical, goodness, technical difficulties. Um, my dying channel. Shout outs to you. Thank you for the super chat. You made top 15. You were the claustrophobic corridor one. The claustrophobic corridor one. Which one is that? Claustrophobic corridor. I don't recall. Top 15. Ah. Uh, I'm sure I will recognize it when I see it, but congrats, <laughs> congrats. I'm brain dead at this point, dude. We went for how long? How do we go for? Four hours. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, so one thing, oh, the zombies. Yo, yes, the zombie one, dude. Did you hand animate those? Did you hand animate those zombies? Because that was nuts absolutely insane. Tadpole, thank you for the super chat. 
really appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. It means a lot. Jay Chen. Yes, Jay Chen from PNY. Dude, um, shout outs to Jay, by the way, um, for hooking up the PNY prizes. Jay, thank you so much, man. Freaking awesome. Thank you for the $5. I will get a kombucha for sure. I will need one after this. Um, man, that was a long stream. That was a really long stream. What else are you going to say? Um, oh, yeah. If you guys also want to help out, another, another fun way to help out is to click that Skillshare link down in like the top of the description. It's actually a legit way to learn. Um, it's a paid service, fairly, fairly cheap, um, to get like curated tutorial videos for VFX and all that stuff. Um, so definitely check the Skillshare link. It helps, I think it's free for you guys to sign up for, uh, I think like a two week trial or something. And it also helps me because Skillshare is like, oh yeah, you got a lot of bunch of people to click and check out our stuff. So good for you, we'll keep working together. Um, so that's a good one. Oh yeah, CG Geek also did a submission, uh, Steve, and his was in, let's see, let me actually show you. Let me show you, I'll show you Steve's real quick, CG Geek's render. Um, <laughs> look at Ren, look at Ren on <laughs> the freeze frame. Oh, that's funny. Um, here are a couple renders that made it very close. Let me render these real quick for you guys. So this was a uh, very close to top 100. Um, this guy here was very, very close to top 100. We had this guy uh, close to top 100. They're going to be a little laggy, most likely. Andre with uh, Berserk, a little Berserk render. This is a really good World War II one with some story. I like that one a lot. Same here, World War II with the vibes, very nice. Um, this one here, I really liked the, like, the visual composition. I thought it was really well done. I love the lighting on this one. I just thought the moon could have been brighter. And this one is Steve's, CG Steve, CG Geek. Yeah, he's got like the Avatar floating planets. And actually, he actually put out a video of his breakdown for this if you want to check that out, uh, CG Geek's channel. Very, very cool. And then, yeah, this is like the little gold miner. Really fun idea. And uh, this guy here, this is an Unreal Engine, all real time in Unreal Engine. A little laggy just because it's 4K. But yeah, those are the ones that uh, they got very, very close. They almost won, uh, almost got top 100. Yeah. Uh, so dude, okay, back to the zombie horde one. You actually hand animated every single one of these zombies. Let me show you guys. Um, that is unbelievable here. But, uh, So this is hand animated. All those characters, dude, such a good idea. Shout outs to you, man. Julia. Sorry, if you are a woman, I apologize. But it's hard to tell just by the name. Um, but that's so good, that's so good. The hand animated characters are ridiculous. So good. It makes it even better, the fact that it's hand animated. Uh, Jackson, I see you. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate you, man. Um, you said, would I be willing to do a one hour challenge or something like that? I did with Beeple. Yeah, we've done these on the channel before. Um, we've done like a two hour challenge where we do it together. So it's you guys, I'll give you the assets and we make something cool. We'll do that soon. Absolutely, we'll do that very soon. I think that's a really fun way to go. Um, I got a couple more super chats here. Thank you guys for the support. It means a lot. Let's turn down my ISO real quick. Um, Tadpole says, wow, what a, what a night. Top 15. Thank you so much for that. That's absolutely amazing. I made the alien ship that sucked up the water. Such a cool idea, man. Such a cool idea. That was my favorite background element. Um, 
freaking awesome, man. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the support. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, Evolver, back at it again, dude. I saw you um, earlier with a super chat. Thank you for the support once again. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting you up to render my submission. I'm gonna have to figure out some like render network to get it rendered in time. <laughs> but thanks for the support, man. Carlos, I see you. Thank you for the super chat. He says, surreal that I made it to top 15. Seemed like the render was darker on stream than originally submitted. Any advice resolving that in the future? So that could be the codec, Carlos. That could be the codec. Um, and the way it's imported into DaVinci, potentially. Um, yeah, it's it's tough if it's like a lossless kind of a codec or if it's like a uh, like a like a ProRes file, it might do that to you. It's also, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but I just dropped everything in. Maybe it was darker. We'll figure that one out. Um, definitely. I don't want to mess with anyone's stuff also. I don't want to like tweak their settings and brighten it up or saturate it or make it darker. I just want to have it as is. And having all these clips come into DaVinci as an auto clip um, is the safest bet for me. Um, but apologies, Carlos, if it was brighter. Um, Peter, thanks for the super chat. No message necessary, just the support, man. I appreciate you. Ah. <sighs> I need to check my video on YouTube? I don't understand. Revolver, you're scaring me. What do you mean I gotta check my video on YouTube? Uh, Nathaniel, thank you. Would I do a challenge for a broader set of art styles like 2D animation, quarter type videos, claymation, stop motion? I don't know, maybe, maybe. Um, we could do something fun like that. I like mixing it up. I don't like doing just the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm always for mixing it up, so that sounds like a good one to me. Noah. Thank you, sir, for the support. Um, you say, thank you for the challenge. Absolutely, I got you. I'm just trying to get you guys making some cool stuff, you know? Any excuse to make some cool stuff, the better, right? You said you learned a lot, amazing. You made the Lego waterfall render that didn't make top 100, but was still proud. Heck yeah, man, your render was good, uh, and you will see it in the full montage next week, next Saturday. Get a haircut. I need a haircut, don't I? I do need a haircut. Mm. In time. In time. Hmm. Um, when? Great challenge. Glad to meet the community on Discord. Learned a lot and we'll keep learning. Um, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Keep it up. Absolutely. Um, it's all about surrounding your, yourself with a supportive community like this, guys. It really is. Um, it would be pretty boring to just do it on your own. And I know a lot of us are either young with not a lot of friends who are into 3D or we maybe the area you live, you don't have a lot of people around you that you can like, it's not LA, you know? In LA, there's, every, there's so much going on. But wherever you guys are from, like you guys can, hop into this community. The internet is an amazing thing, isn't it? We can hop into this community together and make some cool stuff. So I'm glad that you guys are happy to be a part of it. And I'm glad that you guys are happy to be learning a lot. Big fan from India, dude, it's early in India right now. Shout outs, man. Carlos, yeah, dude, uh, you said, thanks for the advice. Again, appreciate all you did. Look forward to the next one. I do too, yeah. Um, Milan, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Uh, it was so fun to see the whole 3D community come together. Uh, yes, yes, I agree. Guys, I really think this is the biggest internet challenge ever. It's the biggest uh, 3D challenge that the internet has ever seen. And I think the montage that I'm gonna put out is gonna show how big this challenge is. It's freaking crazy. 18 years worth of total collective work hours. It was a one month challenge. We got 2,401 submissions and it, the total work hours equal 18 years. Freaking crazy. Absolutely crazy. Evolver says, those who submit videos to YouTube need to test the codec beforehand. YouTube does funky things. Hmm. I just get stressed out that the stream is bad. I get stressed out that I'm having more technical difficulties. I'm gonna have nightmares, man. Goodness.
Uh, Jalen, thank you. I'm glad you liked the videos, man. You had a stuntman 82 had to cancel their haircut appointment to watch the stream. Dang. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. That's sick. Uh, I hope you can get a haircut. I need to get a haircut too. Um, Jackson, have you done a challenge that involved VR? Uh, as in not just edited in, but to be viewed in VR. I have not yet, but I do have plans for a very fun VR experience that I want to release uh, the end of this year. You guys will, if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll probably see me working on it on uh, the weekly live streams. Usually I'm working on stuff versus reviewing art, but I do a little art review at the end of each one as well. And uh, Indie Story, dude, yo, thank you for the support. Thanks for the super chat. Um, you said you dropped in again to thank you for helping this challenge get set up. I got you, man. No worries. Glad you made it to the top 50. The winner deserved it for sure. Yeah, man. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for... Guys, look. You guys made this awesome. Like, the art that you put into this and the fact that you guys put all of your effort and best work into this challenge makes the top 100 montage like the coolest it can possibly be. The harder you guys put in, the more work you guys put in to your individual pieces, the more powerful the montage gets. You know what I'm saying? And the 2401 montage is gonna be one of the most powerful things ever. Um, so I can't wait to freaking show you guys that. I cannot wait. Will there be a live stream next week? So here's my plan. The top 100 montage I'm going to release that video maybe 9 a.m., maybe 10 a.m., I don't know. The 2401 montage, I might make a, Mike, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it as a uh, YouTube, like, live premiere video where, like, the video goes up, but it's also a live stream for just the duration of the video, and once the video's over, it's not a live stream anymore. I might do it that way. I might just like have a beer and chill and kick back and watch some renders with you guys. That's probably the way I'll do it. That's my plan. That's my plan. Yes, there is a challenge coming soon. Another one, another community challenge. Um, it's, it'll almost be back to back challenges here. It's gonna be a lot, um, but it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a very, very good one. Hmm. How many submissions do I think there'll be next time? I, don't, I couldn't even say. I couldn't even say. No idea. If I could guess how big the final file would be with all 2,400 videos, God, 10 gigs? Maybe 12 gigs? I don't know. It'd be a lot. Um, did I see the renders that were, that were late to the deadline? Or did I just discard them? I did see them. I truly went through every render. This is, this is just for peace of mind for you guys and kind of for myself too. There was a couple, pardon, there's a couple renders that were late that um, like if your render was late, you can't make it to the top 100 montage, all right? Um, but I went through and I, chose from the 2401, that's including the late ones, I chose the top 100. And I made sure that um, basically, you know, if, if it was late in the top 100, couldn't happen, right? So I managed to just get the top 100 as the renders that came in on time. And then anything else, um, it couldn't win. It couldn't win. Um, but I will show it in the 2401 montage. That is, that is a thing. For sure. Oh, guys, I think it might be it. It might, might be time to call it. Um, last little announcements here. I'll see you guys next week for the awesome montages I'm putting together. Um, what else? If you guys didn't win and you want to purchase, you know, some of these bone phones or you want to purchase a uh, Quixel Mega Scan subscription. 50% off that. I got actually I got some notes for you. Here we go. So Rococo, I got you guys 10% off all Rococo products until June 11th. Use RKK underscore Ponisher. Um, all this stuff is in the description, okay? 
Quixel, all right? Uh, if you use the code PONE21, 50% off your first month of Mega Scans for the first 3,000 people. That expires June 8th, three days. And then for Aftershocks, these bone conduction headphones, this is the freaking move right here. 15% uh, off all products. And I believe it's uh, Tech37J is the discount code. All that stuff is in the description. And that's just like, these, these companies did not reach out to me and pay me to say any of this stuff. I reached out to these companies. I reached out to Rococo. I reached out to Wacom, to uh, Aftershocks, to PNY, and to Quixel because I wanted the prize pool to be built up from all the stuff I use every day. I use this stuff every single day. Um, so I wanted to, you know, reward the winners with all the tools that I use all the time. So I reached out to these guys and they're like, yo, if you guys wanna, you know, for the people who don't win, check out the stuff in the description, you know? A little 15, 10%, 50%, just for you guys. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, I, I need to use the restroom. I need to use the restroom. I'm gonna bounce. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. <laughs> that was a long one, wasn't it? I'll see you guys next week. The goal is Saturday, 4,200, uh, no, 2,401 montage as a premiere video, which means I'll just live stream and watch it with you guys. That's the plan for next Saturday, along with the top 100. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for sticking around with me, um, for hanging out. It's been a crazy year. I was able to leave Corridor Digital to do all this stuff full time because you guys kept coming back. And that means a lot. It really does. So you guys enjoy your weekend. If you're in India, go to bed. Or, you know, let's get moving. It's an early morning right now. I appreciate you guys. Um, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna go for a one wheel ride and I'm gonna use the bathroom. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Thank you, moderators. Ronan, I see you. Visual, I saw you up in here. Soto Monte. Shout outs. Peace out, guys. See you next week. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Stay creative. Be passionate. Later, y'all. Oh, y'all get the ending screen. Hold on, I almost cut it out on y'all right there. Thank you.